Kyle Rittenhouse versus Joe Manchin. <laughs> Whoa. God damn. We're getting edgy, huh? We're getting deep into the weeds of it. They kind of fell off, but the classics are a banger. I'm worried you'd end up going back and that it's ruined because it's not as good as we remember. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's something people ask, you know? Like, this was a lot of people's childhood. I mean, that's an exaggerative way to pr phrase it, but I think these videos were a part of the content that people watched when they were young. Like, nine years ago. Nine years ago, I was 17... And I watched a decent amount of these. So I figure we'll go through, like, my idea was, like, you know, maybe, like, the 10 or 15 most, like, popular. We'll just sort by most popular. We'll do, like, Barack, Mitt Romney, Steve Jobs, Billiam Gates. You know, all, all these, like, probably up to, like, Gandhi and MLK. Probably no Super Auto Pets. I guess it depends. I'm going to hard end stream a little before 8 o'clock because I have to record the yard. So it depends how long it takes for us to get through unusual memes and then the epic rap battles of history and perhaps a Reddit recap as well because I haven't done one of those in a while. But anyway, tomorrow's the Super Auto Pets tournament. So, hey, bro, iDubs needs someone to box. Everyone keeps saying that. People have DM'd me trying to get me to fight iDubs. But I think this is a two-week-old of uh, like YouTube video. But for whatever reason, people are still hitting me up about it. I'm good. Not much of a boxing type. More of a Pogo Stuck 3. Holy shit, the flood of subs is coming in. Let's go. The camera looks like shit. It's the same fucking camera, bitch. <laughs> Get destroyed. I was waiting for somebody to come in on their tootin' falutin' high horse talking about how my new camera's cringe and bad. It's the same camera, dumbass. Get destroyed, idiot. You don't know anything about capturing video. Wow. Thank you for the primes. Oh my god. There's actually a disgusting amount of subscribers flooding into me. I feel like me young. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the subs, boys. Thank you very much. Samuel. Exoperian. Sentinel Nexus. Sleepy Zs. For gifting a tier 2 sub to True Garnish. Oh my gosh. I hope True Garnish gave you the sloppiest toppy for that. That's insane. Mmm, Declane. <laughs> is that, I'm assuming that's how it goes. Mmm, Declane, thank you. The anime guy. Is this the real anime guy? Or is this a clone of Joey the anime guy? I can't tell. I'm going to treat you like a clone. Oh, Joey's the anime man. Oh, true. I guess I forgot about that. Thank you very much for the subscription. Uber Geek, thank you for the 26 months. Chonky Chew, appreciate it. Would I do a chess boxing match? I would. I think it's a great idea. I actually want to, I want to do melee boxing. What's the plan today, boys? It's probably going to be a little bit of TikTok time. React to epic rap battles of history. Maybe a bit of Reddit recap. Probably going to go over some of the details, the details, for the Super Auto Pets event tomorrow. I need to lock all of the people in for that, so I want to make sure I have that all figured out by the end of the day today. And that's about it. Should be a nice, tight three and a half hour stream. Probably one of the shorter streams we've done in the past week, which I don't feel too bad about. Look, I've been an actual streamer the past week. Like, I don't, I got to take a break or something. I've streamed, you know, a whole last, like, 70, 80 hours in the past, like, 10 days. So this will be my first stream under four hours. 
hive mind soon if you guys didn't hear in the hive mind discord there was an announcement they're still working on a hive mind season three that still is looking like it will happen but hive mind did announce they're doing a spin-off episode for riot games i will not be a part of it charlie will not be a part of it riot specifically wanted riot um influencers so we won't get to be a part of this one, but that's all right. I don't feel too bad. I'm excited for it. It should still be fun. No, I'm not mad. At it. It's totally chill. It's chill. Boy. It's not replaced. It's not like it's just a one-off, boys. Just a one-off. No worries. Thank you for the subs, boys, though. I do appreciate it. Thank you, everyone who clicked on the Twitch Prime button. The subscribe button and subscribe to me. I appreciate it. Is it Mrs. Show just hive mind? Is it? I watched a bit of it. It didn't feel like they had the technology that hive mind did. I think it's it's just family feud. More than it is hive mind. Hive mind, although like copied from family feud, I feel like kind of has its own. Its own thing to it. I, I guess they're similar, though. Maybe they're similar. Does it also use an extension? Because I, I don't think they use... I think they pre-recorded all the questions, right? The thing that makes Hivemind special is that it's literally live. A live polling of answers. Which is crazy. And so it, it leads to a lot of, like, collusion, fake answers, inside jokes. You know what I mean? Cheating's encouraged, yeah. On a Mizkiff game show, that actually is the same. So maybe it is hive mind. Swole Tingle, thank you for the 25 months. Frankie Yap, thank you for the five months of Prime. Just Selly, the three. Salaya, the, the sweet, sweet Prime. Have I watched Arcane? We watched the first three episodes. I have not seen the following three. Because unfortunately, Cutie Cinderella is still dealing with the effects of a concussion. Uh, I was originally not going to stream today because I was going to film something in Los Angeles, but I ended up not doing that. Instead, we went to urgent care um, and found out it's all good, but concussion side effects can last for like a few weeks. A few a few goddamn week. So she's, uh, she's not able to like watch a show for like, you know, two hours or whatever. When is OTV podcast coming out? I don't know. I don't know how their, their shit work. Let me tell you, I got wild though. We did the OTV podcast. It was me and Toast. They had a little crowd behind. I was I was cracking up the staff. The staff at OTV, they were rolling. Couldn't even focus on their jobs. You should upload Slime's Twitter video of you on TikTok. It's super funny. Wait. You oh, like upload the video that Slime posted on Twitter on my TikTok. Oh, exactly what I did? <laughs> oh, literally what I did? Hey, oh, hey, oh, what's up? Oh, even faster than you, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, welcome to 2021, though, brother. We're happy you could have made it. 11 months late, but you're doing great. You're doing great. Let's go. You want King Slime's content again? Yes, sir. And to be fair, this is, you know, this is, this is, my, I'm the star of this year. You know, I'm, I'm starring here. 850K, people love the mashing. People love a successful masher. Open it. I don't have TikTok. Oh, this is a TikTok exclusive, fellas. This is a TikTok exclusive. Oh, you, you want to watch the video that's on my TikTok exclusively, which is 1,000 followers away from 1 million? It's a bit of a TikTok exclusive. Don't say only 15K. It was literally uploaded 49 minutes ago. This is actually a phenomenal amount of views. I think. I don't actually know. Oh, man. Is it Katie? Dropping five gifted. Thank you very much. Fish. Thank you for the 16 months. Ultra Maximan. Thank you for the tier two. What the heck is even that? Crazy for that one. Those new YouTube subs from that Mr. V Beast video. How much money do you think I owe? I said in the YouTube video, I would give a dollar for every person who subscribed to the channel. I have not looked once. What is your guys' guess for how many subscribers I got? I'm peeking. Oh, 
It's eleven thousand dollars. Look, man, hey, I hate trash as much as the next guy. Trust me. Nobody hates trash more than this guy. Who's got two thumbs and yuck hates trash? Me. Okay, but like, come on. I feel like some maybe the fishies will miss it. <laughs> maybe they'll be like, damn, where's my bottles? Shit. You know? Like, Ariel would not have had her secret grotto full of treasures if there was not trash in the ocean. I don't... She said, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? She won't have much stuff anymore. This seems like we should leave some things in the ocean. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, I'm not as salty about that as I am about Hassan. Hassan Madge. Can I get a Hassan Madge in the chat one time for the one? Ew, yuck. Ew, Hassan. Gross. This guy, Hassan, has been dogging me. Endlessly dogging me. Oh, Ludwig, when are we going to hang out, bro? You going to cut me out of more thumbnails? Ugh, all you care about is business. To which I reply, yes, bitch. We are co-workers. I will use you and abuse you. I will not hang out with you offline. But recently, he's been tickling my fancy a little bit more. He let me borrow his necklace and his rings, and I felt, you know what? I'm I'm gonna hang out with Hassan. Let's let's hang out with Hassan. I had a planned dinner. This was last night with the man known as Jay. Jay, the K-pop star. And so it was me and Jay, and it kind of expanded because Myth also asked me to dinner, and I said, hey, why not just let's just marry the ideas. Let's do dinner, and it ended up being a, a much larger dinner. It was me, Jay, Myth, Lena, Cutie, Maya, Connor, and, of course, Hassan. I invited him. I reached out directly to Hassan. I said, hey, come to dinner. Come to dinner. It's on me. I said this to everybody. It's on me. Come enjoy. This is the dinner I told you about yesterday, the reason that we had to end stream and not watch Melee. And I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be good, you know, Jay from day six. Yeah, I, I wanted to meet Jay because we had passed. He was at the offline TV house when I was recording a podcast there. And we had like, you know, had some pleasantries and, and I just, you know, I, I like got his number and I was like, hey, like, let me know if you want to hang out because uh, he's going back to Korea. And I was like, hey, let's, let's hang out. Let's hang out before you go back, you know? And, and he was like, yeah, bet. So, so this is where this all spawned, but it became a much larger event. Eight people now going to dinner. And I have this dinner spot. It's this really nice five-star, beautiful Japanese restaurant. I'm not going to leak it because it's, you know, this is my spot. Okay, I don't want to blow up this spot. I don't want to go all uh, Lenny Kravitz, Spago style and have people walking in being like, can I get the Ludwig? Like, hey, I'm trying to keep this to me right now. This is my spot. Anyway, anyway, if, if you know, you know, all right? If you know, you know. Thank you very much for the five gifted crimesy. Appreciate that. It's very cool of you. It's not Nobu. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Seriously? You think it's Nobu? You think that's me? You think I'm a Nobu bitch? No shot. No shot I'm a Nobu bitch. Nobu's like, pfft. What, what, do you, what do you think? I'm going to come back with big fake titties tomorrow too? That's the next step after going to Nobu. I'm going to have the tightest skin you've ever seen. Not a single wrinkle in sight. No, I was not in Nobu. But I did invite them all to this five-star restaurant. And it's, and it's, a, it's a bit out of the way. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily in the heart of LA. It's a little bit out of the way. And so I'm messaging Hassan. And I'm, I'm just going to read a few excerpts here because I think they're, they're fun little tidbits of information. So I ask him to go to dinner and we're talking about it. And then he hits me up and he says, oh, dude, this is so far. 30 minutes away from him. He goes, oh, this is so far. This is taking up my Elden Ring time. To which I reply, bro, you're not a gamer. Stop pretending. Then he goes, I am literally gaming right now. I hit him with the monocle emoji. And I say, who asked? He does not reply to that. Follows up with another text when he gets in the car. He goes, bro, it's 30 minutes away. Guess who showed up 10 minutes late to dinner? Anyway, he arrives as everybody else does. And I give him a gift, a gift, a shirt 
All right, it's a shirt, and I it, and it, I can promise you it's a shirt specifically for Hassan because it was a two XL, a two XL T shirt from one of one of his favorite shirt spots, um, in LA, and I and I got it for him and I gave him the gift and he was like, oh great, we hugged, everybody sat down, dinner started, great dinner start, you know, it's this is the same exact place that I went to from the story that I told on stream about me and Cutie and the guy, the waiter who is the Pokey fan. Do you guys remember that story? It was the guy who was a pokey fan in that dinner I had with Cutie. They had the raw meat. Same place. Same place. I love that spot. The waiter there, he's hype. His name's TJ. We're great pals. I DM TJ from time to time. All right. He was a Ray fan as well. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and so dinner starts. Dinner starts. And it starts out good. It starts out good because TJ, the homie, you know, he hit, he hooks me up with a with a big old bottle of sake, but not like that one cup sake that Chris Broad drinks before he poisons himself and and films a video, like sake that tastes good, which is not a thing that I knew existed before I had the sake here. Okay, are we really gonna rag me for not going sake, sake, sake? Is it sake, sake, sake? Saved sake. Okay. Uh, Sumima Sen. Sumima Sen, America Jindes, Gaijin in the house. Anyway, we're sucking down delicious sake. Everybody's having a good time. I'm shooting the shit with Jay. We're all chatting, chitting even. And then TJ, the waiter, comes over and he's like, hey, who wants some drinks? And Jay's like... Bro, let's get nuts. Like, let's go crazy. Let's go stupid. I'm like, hell yeah. Let's go nuts. Let's go stupid. Connor's like, hell yeah. Let's go nuts. Go stupid. Maya's like, I'm already drunk. <laughs> I had a half bottle of wine and cutie didn't even drink. <laughs> Five foot two and 30 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. Who asked? So we order our drinks. All right. We have the round of sock, 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 sock sake. We have a round of sake. And uh, and I'm ordering I'm ordering like a a, whisk, a whiskey mixed drink, and I'm gonna explain something that is really really needless information. It's unnecessary information to know, but I'll explain this to you, and maybe this will come up later in your life. There's a brand known as Centauri. It's a Japanese whiskey brand. They have two types of uh, different brands under them, kind of like Bud Light, Budweiser. They're both owned by Anheuser Busch. Anheuser Busch sells Bud Light and Budweiser. Centauri is Anheuser Busch, a whiskey Japanese brand. They sell Toki and they sell Hibiki. Toki is like, you know, the poorer thing, the, the less thing that you put in the mixed drink. Habiki is something that you drink straight up. And then there's like different levels below that, you know, and it's like, oh, you get an older one, yada, 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 who cares? I decided to go a little fancy. This is all pretext to tell you that I said, hey, for these mixed drink, I pulled TJ. I was like, hey, for these mixed drink, put some Habiki in it. TJ says this, Habiki 30. This is a $500 version of Hibiki because it's 30 years old. They bottled this before I was born in 1991. I say, you are fucking smoking reefer. No, just give me like the regular Hibiki. It's a difference of about like $15, okay? $15. No, no, I'm sorry. It is not $500 per bottle. It is $500 per ounce, okay? Does that, does that give you a little bit of a picture? It is $500 per ounce, the entire tray of the Hibiki, the Yamazaki, which is a different brand, but also has a 25-year-old aged one, and then and then a third one, is $100,000, okay? He had a tray of alcohol with three glasses, three bottles, that was $100,000. Something that if he walked to the back and tripped and fell and all the glasses shattered everywhere... He would have to work for two years to pay it back. That's how expensive it is. That's crazy. That is a crazy amount of money for alcohol. And if you remember the story from last time, I had tried just an ounce of the Hibiki 30. I went a little bougie with it. I found that I am a, am a, am a basically a frat boy still in a 26-year-old man's body, and I'm happy drinking 
broke stuff because I don't taste the difference. I don't know what the hell. I feel like rich people are faking it. I can't tell the difference between a 30 year and then like a zero year, a $500 ounce of alcohol. And then like a $30 ounce of alcohol or a $10 ounce of alcohol. I really can't tell. I can't. So I say, you know, but just to be a little fancy, I tell TJ, Hey, for these mixed drinks, I'm get, I'm ordering for everyone. I'm ordering for like myth, Connor, Jay. I say, Hey, can, can you do the Hibiki instead of the Toki? Again, a slightly fancier. I'm talking the difference of like $15, 15, like nothing crazy. He goes, okay, okay, okay. This is on my side of the table. I'm sitting across from Jay. I'm sitting next to Cutie. I'm sitting across from Maya. Other side of the table, it's eight people. It's long. Hassan. And he goes over and Hassan goes, hey, hey, hey. He does this, garçon. Garçon. I say, it's a Japanese restaurant, not France. He goes, oh. Kosan. Dosan. TJ comes over, rolls his eyes. He's from LA. Hey, um, what do you want? Looks over. Uh, what do you got? Not listening to anything that TJ had said. TJ then brings out the $100,000 three bottle display. He goes, we have the Yamazaki 25 year aged whiskey. This is from the Miyazaki prefecture in Japan. This is the 30 year Habiki. Now, this is from a little-known town outside of Tokyo known as Sendai. And then finally over here, we have the Toki. The son looks, stares at the alcohol, looks over at me, stares over the alcohol, and he goes, what's the fancy shit? And he goes, oh, sir, the Yamazaki would be your choice then. It's $900 per ounce. Hassan gets the biggest shit-eating grin on his face. Like a kid just sitting on Santa's lap, and he goes, Is it? 900? Looks over at me, looks at the alcohol, looks over at me, like Batman trying to pick between Harvey Dent and then the girl. And he says this, Ah, uh, I'm not gonna fuck you. I wipe a little sweat off my brow. I go, I wasn't even nervous. <laughs> Me? I don't, e I don't even, I wouldn't have cared. Go nuts. I go back to my dinner. We're talking. About five minutes pass. TJ comes out with the drinks. I get my mixed drink. It's like honey whiskey, you know, a little muddled in with like an orange peel. Nice, delicious. With the hibiki, it's like $30. Jay gets his drink, Myth gets his drink, yada, yada, yada. It's all being laid out. Hassan gets a weird-looking chalice. It almost looks like a goblet, and he just has it set right in front of him. I go, what? What is it? what's that? And he looks over, and he's like, almost like it was not even worth talking about as news. He goes, oh, yeah, I just got like a $300 whiskey shot. You what? Yeah, I decided to just get, I just got the Hibiki. I was like, what? Oh yeah, I'll just reimburse you later for it. Don't worry about it, man. He orders the most expensive whiskey. One of the, like the top three you could have ordered. Him not fucking me was getting the third most expensive alcohol Instead of the first or the second. That's him not fucking me. Maybe it's not fucking me, but by God, you did blow me. We're basically there. This is the soaking of fucking. Maybe God doesn't see it as sex, but but by Lord, if I'm looking at these Mormons, I'm saying that's what sex is. And he's going, not nah, soaking. Doesn't count. I didn't fuck you. I'm just soaking this whiskey. So, he gets the whiskey. Dinner continues. It's a phenomenal dinner, by the way. I could never complain about the food of this place. It's delicious food. Delicious as always. We're shooting the shit. You know, and Cutie and Maya had just come off the podcast that they have now. Whine about it. 
and they were talking about a few things with the table and Lena, and they're talking about the conversation of <laughs> the conversation, which is a very difficult and somewhat complicated conversation of the harassment of women came up about 30 minutes for the next 30 minutes straight. <laughs> it was Hassan basically going debate mode with Maya and Cutie talking about women on Twitch with Myth and Connor chiming in, just kind of rephrasing what Cutie and Maya had said. And then me and Jay just looking at them going like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Swear to God, 30 minutes, he got stunlocked. He got stunlocked. I think I heard the phrase, I support sex workers, 18 times. <laughs> I was like, bro, what are we recording a podcast here? What's going on? Where's Destiny so I know what to have a take on? I, I don't know. I don't have my own take. I, need, <laughs> I I don't know these things. Jesus Christ. All I need to do is like, react to unusual memes. Please give me an opposing opinion here. <laughs> We're stuck there. We're stuck there for like 30 minutes. Um, and and that's and that's and that's that's the dinner. That's that's the most of it. I have a great time. Jay's great, by the way. Great guy. Love that guy. Great fella. Hassan also great. Mostly just ragging on him. Gets to the end of the night, kind of whittles down. I get the check. Now, it's a set course. It's not a cheap restaurant by any means. Chat guess. Guess chat. Take a gander. Good old fashioned Reggie Bush, twenty two hundred dollars. Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, "Bro, this is rent. <laughs> this is not food. <laughs> this is rent." I did not realize that quadrupling the amount of people also quadruples the size of the bill. That's not nothing. That's rent. That's literally rent. You understand right now. Hey, look, I know how much money I make. I've expressed it to you guys, but I don't like to spend my money usually on things like that. I'm wearing a free shirt that I got from Team Liquid. And these, if you guys haven't noticed yet, are Taco Bell sponsored shorts. If I'm going to throw out my money, it's usually on a blackjack table. Business expense, I promise you, <laughs> it's a terrible idea to write off eight people at a dinner where you spend $2,200. That is considered considered in a, an extravagant, reckless spending expense. The IRS would get on your ass for that shit. Ugh. And that was pretty much it. That was the dinner. Ugh. That was including the tip. Including the tip. All in all, pretty good. I do have a photo of it. Let me show you guys the photo. So anyway, if you guys see Hassan, just let him know he has to reimburse me. <laughs> hey, man, I heard how the merch did. That merch banged. Wait, I just dropped a tweet. Hold up, I tweeted out the picture. <laughs> Worth every penny, baby. Worth every goddamn penny. This is the group. Hassan not cropped out. Let me put this in the YouTube video and just make the thumbnail Hassan. The first thing Jay said when he saw Hassan is, you're fucking big. <laughs> Hassan kind of looks like Kanye West and Lil Pump in the I Love It music video.
Jay's J A E. Jay's um part of Day Six, K pop guy. Sweetheart. Crocs? Nah, I was drippy. The thing about it, I specifically went with a good outfit because every time I hang out with Hassan, I wear the same outfit. And he goes, dude, you only have one outfit. You overwear your clothes. So I brought out shit I've never had before. Oh my God, Jay Quo retweeted. What a sweetheart. Colon three. Show the slime tweet. Swag. Do you have swag or class? Can you for a moment consider that, that maybe so you don't let me let me do it on TikTok because it has subtitles. Let me show it to you on TikTok. You're such a fucking hoe. If no one hates your fit. I have a good I look good. Your swag. If no one hates your fit. I have a good I look good. Your swag. I feel good. I look swag. Do you have swag or class? I was drunk. Just so you guys know. This is after dinner. Okay, I was <laughs> This is after dinner. The habiki hit a little bit harder than I would have recognized if you guys. I'm a little, I'm a little drunky, wonky right here. Okay, I just. So no one hates your fit. I have a good. I look good. Your swag. I feel good. I look swag. Do you have swag or class? Can you, for a moment, consider that maybe you don't know what fashion really is? Uh, I. Idiot. I know fashion. I'm a fashion guy. <laughs> so no one hits <laughs> That's a yard intro if I've ever seen one. <laughs> you look faded. I'm just drunk. I've had probably that's like three shots of sake and Three whiskey something or others. But I swear to God, the third one that TJ gave me was just straight up whiskey. I swear to God. The third one that TJ put in front of me, he was like, he like winked at me and I drank it. And I was like, dude, this is literally ethanol. And he went, yeah, man, that's on the house. And I go, this is not what I want. <laughs> the house is poisoning me. Anyway, boys, it's time for some TikTok time. Want to do some TikTok time? Any TikTok timers? Hey, ooh, ooh, ba boom. It's TikTok time, everybody. Back once again with the TikTok Renegade Master. YouTube is not luck. It's actually skill. The amount of skill required to react to these memes unusually is such a high degree that not many people could achieve it the way I do. <laughs> oh, you think it's you think it's luck? Mm, you watch a 7 minute and 30 second video and fake laugh. We'll see who has the last fake laugh. Motherfucker. Anyway, let's check it out, boys. You know the vibe. We got two unusual memes. Gonna take a look at them. Gonna chuckle. Gonna have some good times. Gonna have some long times. Oh, by the way, everybody on YouTube who subscribes to this video right now will be subscribed to my channel. Check it out. Chat, tell them. Tell them, boys. Tell them why they should do it. Chat, tell them why they should do it. <clears throat> no smiley face. Do it. Don't. Suck it, YouTube. <laughs> why did it Why did it freeze at the suck it, YouTube for like three seconds? Uh, all right, let's get to it. Oh, by the way, I don't have I talked about this on YouTube. Some people are confused. I do have a new room. This is, to be clear, the same exact room, but, but, I got it redesigned. It's the same room. It's the same, the door's here. Before, there, this was a shelf, and this was a shelf, and there was a mogul moo sign, and then a fireplace. Same, this is the same, same room. I don't really know how to prove it to you guys, but everyone's trying to tell me it's a green screen or a fake room. It's the same room. 
Anyway, here's Jigglypuff to hang out with us today. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I feel like I haven't told YouTube yet. Ugh. These aren't boxers. These are shorts. They're very short, though. Let me tell you, I was walking around in my neighborhood with these shorts on, and I had no shirt because I've heard that walking around and getting vitamin D on your skin is good for you. Like, direct contact. And usually I wear longer shorts, but I was wearing these, and I got I got hollered at by an older neighbor. Like, I did the wave, and then he did the wave, and then he, like, actually looked at me, saw that I was wearing these shorts, and was like, what are you... He didn't really, like, say much. He just kind of mutters, like, kids. Like, <sighs> he did like that. Like, <sighs> I was like, what? <laughs> Wait, don't cut me. All right, let's get it. <laughs> oh, no. No. Hold up. Can kangaroos swim? All kangaroos have short hair, powerful hind legs, small forelimbs, big feet, and long tail, and they use their tail while swimming? They're good swimmers? They motorboat that shit propeller style? That's crazy. I'm a terrible swimmer. He's going to Daniel. Dude, Among Us is back. Why is everyone's first thought when they saw this clip, Connor eats pants? Because that was the first thing that popped in my mind. <laughs> Connor walking about the town. Connor walking to... <laughs> Connor walking over to Twitter to tell everyone he's a variety streamer. Okay, shawty, in my head... I don't do no red. I'm gonna be honest with you, it rhymed. This was supposed to be <laughs> a baked potato. Oh my f So there's a cannon that. Yo, they got sharp teeth. He just cut that shit off with his teeth. So there's a cannon that's about to go off. I'm literally gonna give me a picture. <laughs> So we're gonna see how they react. No! <laughs> how are you the only person who's not oblivious? No! What is this? Alpha, alpha. I don't know that sign. It looks like Poseidon's symbol. Alpha fee. What's a lawnmower? Oh, literally. <laughs> That's hype. People will, hey, people will adjust to anything, man. <laughs> I used to have to do that too. Dude, I will never... I, one of the most nostalgic things that kids will not ever experience again is trying to play video games on an old CRT television. Back in the day, I used to have to like... Go to a certain channel, plug in the VCR, play a VCR tape, stop playing a VCR tape, a blue screen would pop up, and only then could I play the Nintendo 64. Channel 3, yeah. It was a whole ass fucking mission. Nowadays, they just go, dink. This is Big Ray. Damn. This is Big Ray. 
Yo. Yo. <laughs> this is a big ring. Mm. Yo. You spit. I love that video because my favorite videos are videos that would be so fucking lame if something stupid didn't happen. This is big red. Like this video, if it was just this is big red, and then he opened a can. What was the goal with that? What were we doing there, huh? Mm. Yo. You spit. <laughs> Old meme, but it checks out. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 A bottle of water. And, uh, <laughs> That's crazy. That's a funny video if it's not Tyler. I don't know. I'm on to four right now. Oh. That's weird as shit. I remember the first time I ever found a um, a foot pedal toilet. That shit blew my mind. I didn't know they existed when I was like nine in Europe. I feel like rather than people saying I am stoned, they should just say I am stupid as fuck. You know how they say like drunk thoughts are real thoughts? I will say high actions is just your true self. You're just a dumbass. The weed just brings it out of you. Hold on, hold on. I'm not yeah, get the videos, get the videos. Ready? Hold on, hold on. Wait. Okay. This is gonna be it. I right, go. EA Sports, it's in the game. <laughs> hey. Hey. What's up? Oh. <gasps> Damn, that dude got a badonk a donk. Get that guy on OnlyFans. <laughs> hey, that person watched Myth in 2017. Can't tell me otherwise. Don't say NA walls. Like our walls, like your ancient brick walls in Rome is what you're living in. It's just drywall. It's just drywall. Nothing crazy about it. It's not scuffed. It's just general drywall. What do you guys all have? Brick walls everywhere? The only thing that NA does, okay, NA does two things that's kind of cringe. Wallpaper, I think, is cringe. I will never defend wallpaper. I think it's cringe. There's also this weird obsession in NA with painting beautiful wood white. I don't know what that is. Like furniture pieces or flooring, they just paint it white. And they're like, it's nice now. Why? No, it's not. The wood looked nice. And they don't use bidets. Those are the three cringe things about NA. Also, occasionally covering up war crimes. That's a, it's like a, it's a fourth, you know, honorable mention. Hey, 
<laughs> what is a heist for Soylent? Holy shit! The millennials are out of jobs. <laughs> that was the most badass way to screw in a nail. They stripped the nail and then heated it up so much that the metal fused so that it could be screwed in because it was basically soldered. Screwing a nail? Wait. Nails are the ones with no screw? Screwing a screw? What the heck? What's the difference? What was this? Oh, they're just laughing because there's a cat on the table who's vibing. And you just need to stop, okay? <laughs> he does this. He sort of like goes behind, rears up, and <laughs> he's so he's naughty. Like, <laughs> Why did you stop? You knew it was coming, and then you just said, ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> you blocked so it. Why did you stop like blocking? Goes behind, rears up, and <laughs> so naughty. Oh, that's a professional cameraman. Professional cameraman had to change the focus. Look at that. Took off the, the right hand, stabilizes the camera. The left hand did the focus. Took it I off because he wanted the shot. <laughs> you know what? I respect that now. Good job, Finn. Hearts and chat for Finn. <laughs> what is this? The fucking Rugrats trying to what fix electrical to issues? <laughs> Tommy Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I could do that. That's like a V zero, probably. I mean, straight up, those look like jug holds. You don't even top out that high. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, that's kind of a beta break there. Opening the fridge to climb the fridge. Bit of a beta break. PS4. Like how you get in a car in GTA. Oh! <laughs> the flavoring is so unhealthy. So what I do is I rinse them underwater, place them in a dehydrator for. So I got in this new bath bomb and it has charcoal in it, so that'll help me out a lot because I'm a very oily person. So here we go. So do I have to do this essay? Yes, you do. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey, I'm down for teachers to yoink that. By God. They get paid jack shit. They can't work three months of the year because summer vacation, so they didn't even get like subsidized income for that period of time. And then every fucking holiday comes around and they get a candle. <laughs> they get a fucking candle, dude. Actually, teachers are paid over summer. I'm no, I'm just going to continue my, on my stance and double down with my ignorance. Please stop trying to correct me. Jesus Christ. What do you think I'm trying to do? Learn here. That does look bussin'. <gasps> this was a really good unusual memes video. Damn, this might have been like the greatest individual 730 of unusual memes I've ever seen in my life.
I actually wrote an essay. This was in fifth grade. We had to do an, uh, a persuasive essay, five paragraphs, something like that, about something we're passionate about. And I made my essay about how teachers should get paid more. Easy clap. Literally freest A I've ever seen in my life. If I didn't do that essay, I probably don't become an English major. I'm probably not sitting in front of you right now. I probably don't know expansive vocabulary like no shot, goaty throaty, bussin'. Instead, I became the man I am now. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> There's no point in watching this. There's no point in watching this. This is the same experience like when a trailer shows every single aspect of the movie, the beginning, the twist, the end, the climax, yada, yada. This is that. I know I've seen the trailer. I know how this ends. All right. Do we want to do a prediction? Do we want to take any any guessers? Press one in chat. If you think he is going to swing the golf club, they are going to lift the pinata and he's going to whack the TV, breaking it instantly. Press two. If you think anything else will happen, vote on your phones. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a funny bit if you have a fake leg. <laughs> that is so funny. Holy shit. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Her face, dude. <laughs> What in the full of Metal Alchemist? Dude, I would hate to have a fake leg for, for a plethora of reasons. But one of them, and this is number one on my list, I will say, nothing else. This is number one on my list without a doubt. I would hate it because people would call you Full Metal Alchemist. Or make Full Metal Alchemist references. Anyway, this kitty's probably going to be fine here. Let's take a look. That's a good laugh. Kaiser Permanente? <laughs> okay. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Was he using an Christ. iron to heat up the pizza? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. He's using a hockey skate to cut it. <laughs> That's <laughs> so fucking degenerate. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like they attempted to be the most Canadian possible. <laughs> Mama just gave you supper in your bowl. You want some? It's delicious. Or are you just gonna go to sleep? Okay, good night. <laughs> Ludwig viewers trying to get rid of toilets so we can have bidets all around the world. Love that. Keep it up, King. <laughs> Y'all think the Migos sleep in the same bed like the Powerpuff? That was not actually a Mogul Moves hoodie, I don't think. I was memeing. I was memeing because it is pretty much the same color. Fuck you! Frame by frame? I don't see a logo. Seems a bit too thin. I guess it could have gone through the washer. Actually, I don't know. Maybe that is. Dude, imagine. This could just be Tommy in it. The strings are right. Nah, I don't think so. Y'all think the Migos sleep in the same bed like the Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> Do you have the sneezes? Hello? 
hello? Dang. It's like the scene in Lion King. What? That's like how cartoon characters smell roses. What the hell? <laughs> or people in Los Angeles party. <laughs> oh. Being a gamer, how would you classify yourself? Are you uh, like a I would classify gamer? myself as a hardcore gamer. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yo. What? You good? Yes. <laughs> How'd you know? Because your hands are right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did you know oh what? God. Well, you're almost there. Ja, das ist also eine Weihnachtsbaumkanone und die ist dafür da, um einen Weihnachtsbaum abzuschießen. Und der Sinn dahinter? Frage ich mich auch. But the suspension is <laughs> The suspension's great. No, she runs like new. We'll do it like maybe 4K cash. <laughs> Who wants it? Who wants it? Hey! I love Tom. Hey! <laughs> That's bold. That is a bold meme to do it to a police officer. That joke never gets old. I just hope they always do a drive through before they like check scope out. All right. Anybody dead? No, everybody's standing around the car. They're a little shaken up. All right. We'll do one more drive around and then we'll hit him with a joke. All right. A little bit of checking first. This is like the video your parents show you before you travel outside of the U.S. Be careful. In Italy, they will rob you. They literally have plans. They have, like, gangs that will rob you when you go outside the country. You need to be very careful. Okay, you non-believers. What about this? Can you give him a big smile, Snappy? Yeah, hey, boy. He's a good boy. Now, what do you think, folks? You think I got a friendly turtle or what? He's just a good boy. Oh, that was wholesome. I thought that was going to be dangerous. What the fuck? Oh, shit. What? Then release. The team then releases the cat. Cat. His little legs aren't designed for distance. Oh. Dude, that's depressing. 
Mais quand tu regardes. Oh, Oh! 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 That is such a relatable experience, actually. I remember volleyball day in gym class. Holy shit. Never have I been more judgmental in a giant overall prick than when I have a teammate who walks up and just cannot serve. Like, just hit it across the net, bro. My God. I mean, I wouldn't say anything, but I'm silently judging. <laughs> what was the... <laughs> Just grab it. Ah, uh, shit. Keto? <laughs> this family makes me want to murder people. Qualidade garantida aqui, ó. Vidro blindado, muito resistente, complexo, robusto. Olha lá, ó. Eita, meu Deus. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. But this is the only thing I should... <laughs> Fucking baptism? Is what is that? What is it going into? What? How this pumpkin's doing? Um. <gasps> so oh, it's putting out a fire. Oh. All right, some good unusual memes today, boys. That was good. Those are some good ass memes. But chat, the reacting is not done yet. Chat, 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 chat. We have more reacting to do. Because you guys might, like me, have had a common video series you would watch throughout your childhood. I don't know if you Mr. guys remember it. Maybe this will bring you back. Epic rap battles of history. 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 That's right. Epic rap battles of history. This was like the thing that you watched and maybe talked about at school like eight, nine years ago, whether you were in middle school, high school, preschool, whatever you were at, college, some boomers in this bitch. And I thought like, hey, I haven't seen these in at least five years. Do they hold up? That's like the main question. You always wonder because like growing up, you watch it and you're like, you know, damn, this is like, you know, this is pretty good. Like, this is funny. This is like. It's like, it's like catchy. It's also funny. It's also like actually accurate historically. You know, you learn a bit. Do they hold up? Are these old YouTube videos still funny? Are epic rap, rap battles of history still good? So today I collected a tier list maker with all of the epic rap battles of history. Now, I don't think we're going to go through all of them because that sounds like a lot. But I thought it'd be fun to go through the most popular... 10 or maybe 14, 15 epic rap battles and see how good they are. Rank them in a tier list. See if there's any S's or maybe if they're all D's. <laughs> so let's start. Let's get to it, boys. And maybe we'll throw in a new one too just to like see because I haven't watched any of the new ones. So maybe we'll also watch a new this one just for like comparison to see if they're still doing well. 
Because they're, by the way, this if you don't know, still making them. Not that frequently. It seems like three times, two times a year. But they're still making them, which is interesting enough. Let's get to it, boys. Starting with the most popular one, Barack Obama versus Mitt Romney. Classic election battle. This came out in 2012, which I guess makes sense. Probably almost to the month because that's when the election was. Yeah. Came out October. Okay. Very cool. Thank you for the update. Uh, and we're going to we're gonna look at this one. Ready? We're going to look at this one. Hold up. I got to go PP first and then we're going to run it. All right. I'm going to go PP. Then we're going to run this. Oh, let's get to it. Wait, epic rap battles of history might have started on Nice Peter's channel. Oh, dude, that's a name I haven't heard in so long. Wait, I can't browse by popular? It doesn't look like they uploaded anything really here. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, they did. Billy Mays versus Ben Franklin. Gandalf versus Dumbledore. Yeah, it looks like they did a, a few, actually. Dr. Seuss versus Shakespeare. Uh, I'll stick to I'll stick to this one, though. I'll just stick to these, because these are, like, on the channel. Gets way older. Oh, really? Nah, I'll just look at these ones. It makes it better for simplicity's sake. For simplicity's sake, chat. All right, let's get started. This is the first most popular one. Barack Obama versus Mitt Romney. You're a decent politician with a winning complexion. You're all Barack and no bite, but no change. And we're all still hoping that you'll shut your mouth like Guantanamo Bay to both open. You're from the Windy City where you're looking pretty with your blowhards. But come January, you'll be left evicted and with no job. Raw rhymes stronger than my jawline when I spit a phrase. Knocking you harder than front doors in my old mission days. You see this silver spoon? This the mass out of debt. Took you four years to drop unemployment down below 8%. This is, like, shockingly factual. Like, the amount of information. They've referenced quite a few things. Including that fact that Mitt Romney is Mormon. They just... I don't know if you guys picked that up. He just said my mission, because Mormons go on missions. They just threw that... They tossed that in there. With a little pun in there. Mitt soaks. Mitt's a soaker. They say at BYU, Mitt invented soaking. They call it the Romney rock. When you shake the bed up. <laughs> you feel that, Barry? You're old news. Everyone's having doubts. 
and your rhymes are as weak as this economy that you've done nothing about. Call me a vicious businessman, cause Romney's stealing this race. I'll go bank capital on your donkey ass, restructure your face. I don't even know what that means. Romney's stealing this race. I'll go I don't even, I still am, I'm a 26 year old adult, I should know this. What is go bank capital, capital on your donkey, on your ass, donkey? Your What is bank capital? It's his company. Oh, I see. Well, they say your father was a great man. You must be what's left. Need to stop hating on gays. Let them teach you how to dress. You got the mama jeans and a Mr. Fantastic face. So rich and white, it's like I'm running against a cheesecake. Republicans <laughs> need a puppet and you fit. Got their hands so far up your rare call you <laughs> fire. I'm the head of state. This is a You're good impression. Like a head of cabbage. About to get smacked. Buy my stimulus package. You're a bad man. That's a good penis you joke. Double entendre. I got four more years. Two turns. In the White House. Just trust me. I hope you saved your best rhymes for the second half. Because right now, I'm 47% for kicking your ass. Whatever. That 40% thing got you real mad. Wouldn't it remind you how many decent parents you had? Uh, look, I respect our religions. <laughs> wow. uh, but it might get crazy if the White House is a first, second, and a third lady. Ha! Oh, joke. Wives, man. What are you doing? You got hitched to the female version of Patrick Ewing. What the Let me be fuck? Clear. Uh, don't get it. What? Twisted. We'll see how pretty your face is after my face Michelle. is Michelle! Uh, 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 you're a stuttering communist. Oh, yeah? Well, you're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. No, uh, -uh. Uh, uh I have the power invested in me by the giant bald bird. The president shall not be the shiniest of two turds. Do. I want to like you. Don't talk about Jason do it. I forgot Abraham Lincoln hopped in with grills. Hey, you, money man, your pancake, you flipped over there. It's a country, not a company. You can play like Monopoly. I'll properly reach across the aisle and bitch back you as equals. I'm the people, by the people, for the people. Ego. Ah! That's the best way to do any election coverage content or like any presidential based like videos is just go hey it's like the better of two evils <laughs> like i don't know i just feel as though both of the options are not what i wanted but you know I, i'll deal with what i have to anyway chat who won obama won romney two Sheesh. I will say Romney went hard. What does that mean? The the female version of Patrick Ewing? Like I does that just mean ugly? Or is it like peak Patrick Ewing? Because Patrick Ewing kind of hot. I don't. What does that mean? Atriox. Yeah. If you guys don't know, I'll pull up a picture of uh, Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing. If you don't know, Brandon Ewing is Atriox. This is his father. His mother's really white. Anyway, all right, Obama wins. Obama wins, baby. I mean, I guess that is historically accurate. Good job, everybody. Good job. You know what? That wasn't bad. I'm going to um, let me let me get a little crazy here. That wasn't you know, it's like it's hey, yeah, it's some it's some normie popcorn content, but 3 minutes pretty catchy. They brought in a bald eagle. That's a little nuts. I can respect that. I don't know where I am looking. I'm trying to find Obama. Where's Barrick? Third row. Thanks, chat. Appreciate you guys. There she is. I would throw it at a solid. I would throw it at a solid. Uh, I would say um, someone said B for Obama and capitalize the B. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. It's like an A, B. I wouldn't. I wouldn't venture for an S. That seems a little crazy. Really this is not like a tiger. You don't see it and immediately click it. B, B for B for 
Be for base, maybe. Let's just, let, you know, we, we can change it later, but let's jump into the next one. Steve Jobs versus Bill Gates. All right? Steve Jobs versus Bill Gates. I will say good start. A good a start as any could be for, for like something I haven't watched in like five years. That's good. Steve Jobs versus Bill Gates is a classic one. This was, I think, literally. Let me check. Yeah, this was a year after Steve Jobs died. Which is like, is that is it too soon? I don't know. Let's find out. Let me just step right in. I got things to invent. I'm an innovator, baby, change the world. Four to five hundred before you kiss the girl. I'm a pink, you're a nerd. I'm slick, you're cheesy. Beating you is apple too easy. I make the product that the artist chooses and the gooey that Melinda uses. I need to bring up some basic shit. Why'd you name your company after your dick? Well, Jobs, you ever get rich? Why'd you name your company after your dick? Microsoft. Yo, that's a bar. Holy shit. Dang. That's a bar. Okay, Steven. I need to bring up some basic shit. Why'd you name your company after your dick? Well, Jobs, you ever get rich with your second hand jeans and you turn on like I'll turn a hole in the middle of your bony head with your own little spit of big ball at that. Can't be. You got given up at work. I give away your network to AIDS research. So I know you little toys and I still crush that. iPhone, iPad, iPhone, I smack. A man uses the machines you build to sit down and pay his taxes. A man uses the machines I build to listen to the Beatles while he relaxes. Well, Steve, you steal all the credit for work that other people do. Your sure. fat beard Wozniak write these raps for you, too? Ooh, everybody knows Windows bit off Apple. I triple the profits on a PC. All the people with the power to create use an Apple. And people with jobs use PC. You know, I bet they made this beat on an Apple. Nope, Fruity Loops, PC. You will never, ever catch a virus on an Apple. Well, you can still afford a doctor if you bought a PC. Let's talk about doctors. I've seen a few because I got a PC, but it wasn't from you. I built a legacy, son. You can never stop it. Now, excuse me while I turn heaven a profit. Fine. Would be like that? Die then. The whole world loves you, but you are my friend. I'm alone now with nothing but power and time. And no one on earth you can challenge my mind. I'm a boss. I own us. Your future is my design. I'm a god. Own Xbox. Now there's no one to stop me. The world is mine. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Take a look at your history. Everything you built beats Whole up to me. I got the power of a mind you could never be. I'll beat your ass in chess and jeopardy. What? I'm running C++ saying hello world. I'll beat you to you singing about a daisy girl. I'm coming out the socket. Nothing you can do can stop it. I'm on your lap and in your pocket. How you gonna shoot me down when I got the rocket? Your cortex just doesn't impress me. So go ahead, try to tell and test me. I stomp on a Mac and a PC too. I'm on Linux, bitch. I thought you could knew. My CPU's hot, but my cold one's cold. Beat you in 17 lines of code. I think different from the engine this is so nerdy. Old, that's a la vista, like the Terminator told ya. Oh shit, yeah, who won? Okay, I gotta say that one was worse. And the only reason is because after him saying you named your company after your dick, Every bar was worse after that. Every bar, every bar was kind of trash after that. I thought. But I, I, you know, I'll say that was a decently tasteful way to make a video about Steve Jobs a, a year after his death. That's That's pretty decent. You know what part of my problem with this series is? It's usually two people. It's um, it's Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd, right? So Epic Lloyd is this guy, and then Nice Peter is this guy. Epic Lloyd has one energy that he gives off. Ah! And that's it. And so it's like, is that, am I really feeling, am I feeling um, Bill Gatesy? Not really. Not really getting Bill Gates vibes here. Like, I think it made sense for kind of Mitt Romney. But I like the guy they brought in for the, for the Barack Obama. That guy killed it. Yeah, I think Nice Peter did a decent job. Overall, everyone thinks Steve won. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. That one, that one, I, that one I was not such a fan of though. I, w I would put it, I would put it B tier. 
it was okay. Maybe even C. It had a great line. I would never put it D tier or get rid of D, F, because it had such a good bar. Probably the best bar I've heard today of the two I've heard. Next, Rasputin versus... Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, that's literally Nice Peter versus Epic Lloyd. Okay, hold up. That is wrong. Good call, chat. Good call. I just literally picked up a random one. I would rate that one a classy D tier. C tier. C tier, excuse me. C tier. Can't be F. Had a good bar. Didn't like it that much after the bar, though. Rasputin versus Stalin. Ooh, this is a historic. I like the historical ones where I don't get the references as much. It feels like I'm learning more. With the man on to be sorry, yo. How many dictators does it take to turn an empire into a union to ruin the state? It's a disgrace what you did to your own people. Your daddy beat you like a dog, and now you're evil. You're from Georgia, sweet Georgia, and history books unfold ya. As a messed up motherfucker bit in the mind. You're a superpower, but it pays the price. With the endless destruction of Russian lies. You're a man of steel, I spit kryptonite. Big dick, mystic, known to hypnotize. I can end you with a whisper to your eye. Okay, that felt like the only things he said of substance. Or you're a dictator, you're evil, I am a mystic, and that was about it. I didn't feel like a lot of... You're also from Georgia. That was another big part of it. Um, it didn't, didn't, didn't feel like there was a lot there, but okay, well, let's, let's see what Stalin has. Look into my eyes, you perverted witch. See the soul of the man who made Mother Russia his bitch. You think I give a fuck about my wife? My own son got locked up in prison. And I didn't save his life! You got up easy when they pickle that loose cock! I'd leave your neck in a nuke in a trench and shot! My whole family! Shot! All your wizard friends! Shot! I didn't want to sold you pierogi! Shot! Starve you for days so you waste away! I even crushed motherfuckers when I'm laying insane! Tried to blood until Trotsky out of the picture! Dropped the hammer on you harder than I bitch slapped Hitler! I have no pride for you! That was good. Ruined everything my revolution Lennon? was doing! Okay, what the fuck? The bourgeoisie! I fought the bondage of classes! The proletariat masses! It brought me here to spit a thesis against both of your answers! Let me start with you there! Holy shit, that was everything Hassan has ever said on stream condensed in about 30 seconds. This is Lenin, by the way, not Karl Marx. Lenin is the pol politician. Karl Marx is the, the guy who created Marxism. Just, so you, just a little history lesson for you guys. Karl Marx was paid by the state to, to write, and he wrote a book. And then people were like, good book. I like your book. Lenin was like, I really like your book. I like it a lot, a lot. And then became a politician, tried to use the book. That's about it. Did somebody say Bert Marx? Yo, I'm the host with the most class notes. Assholes made a mess and the war got cold. Shook hands with both Ronalds, Reagan and McDonald's, no doubt. If your name ends with in, time to get out. I have the balls to let Barishnikov dance, player. Put on that wall like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. You two need yoga. You need a shower. And you all need to learn how to handle real power. Did somebody say real what power? What the fuck is happening here? Okay, that was Mikhail Gorbachev, famous for being in a Pizza Hut commercial. Now we have someone else coming. God, you want to mess with me? Who the I fuck are you? It's supposed to be Vladimir like Putin? While I'm falling in Cuba, doing judo moves and schooling every communist suka. I'm a president, my prime, my enemy, don't distract me. The last man who attacked me, let the half-life to call back on back me. You don't know what you're doing when you're trying to force a rhyme against a mind like Putin. You're fine at the Why is he talking TV? like Rocky? He's just talking like Rocky. It's not, it's not about how hard you get in. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, who won? I don't know, man. There's a lot of people. Uh, this really didn't have a lot of Rasputin in it.
they feel like nobody really roasted Gorbachev and literally nobody roasted Putin. They kind of got to go in and roast. I think Lenin had a bar, though. Lenin's was fire. But Hitler, I have no pride for you who ruined everything my revolution was doing to stop the bourgeoisie. I fought the bondage of classes, the proletariat masses that brought me here to spit a thesis against both of your asses. Let me start with you there. Frankenstein, looking like something out of R.L. Sign. It's hip-hop chowder, red of a wine. This is odd, so I can't do shit tonight. And Yosef, you were supposed to be my right hand man. But your loyalty shriveled up like your right hand man. What is that? What is that reference, by the way? Did did Stalin lose his PP? Is that what I'm understanding? Oh, literally his right hand. Oh, literally his right hand. I thought it was like a you like I thought it was I thought it was a euphemism. I thought he was talking about his like right hand, like his penis. He just had a bad right hand. Oh, he's just making fun of a deformity. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I guess that's chill if you're a mass murderer. If you commit genocide, we should be able to make fun of your deformities, I suppose. The future was bright. You let your heart grow dark. It's not the greatest revolution since the birth of Mars. <laughs> Canceled. Canceled. Everybody goes out of their way to go defend Stalin. All right, what do you think, chat? Uh, I don't even, do we even do a poll for this? There's too many to poll here. I'm, I'll just leave the poll out of this one. I'll leave the poll out of this one. With Lenin, it seems like Lenin's a good option. I kind of liked this one. There was a lot of people included there. It felt like this was almost a propaganda piece for the Russian government. Um, because Gorbachev's was incredibly positive. Lenin's was incredibly positive. Putin's was incredibly positive. Albeit, he did admit that he killed someone. Outside of that, it seemed pretty positive. But I, I walk away thinking that this was probably a C tier, maybe. Nothing crazy. Perhaps a B tier. I, I could see B tier. And no specific burn was that great. C for commies. Average, as everything should be. Master Chief versus Leonidas. Okay, this is this is like ancient gamer meme. This is like, you know, dream blunt rotation in 2012. Or dream smash roster. It'd be this and then bald Britney Spears. This is the type of thing that comes out and then you tell your friends that it's epic. Guys, there was an epic video that dropped last night. <laughs> Oh, that was a bar. Not so fast. Cortana says you're Greek, so why don't you stick these lyrics up your ass? Stick with the monument to my sins. You're the soldier that needs you to be. Ain't no way that you could be me. Eat my initial spell and see. Was that a... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to pause here. I hate to pause in the middle of a bar. Was he saying that Cortana says you're Greek, so why don't you put this up your ass? Is that a Greek gay joke? Is that a gay joke? Because Greeks would fuck each other and also little boys. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Just checking. While you and your companions were all camping in a canyon Took a camping to your house and chilled your queen on plasma cannon They should have thrown your rhymes over the cliff because they're sickly You will not enjoy this, but it will be over quickly Ha! I've been better battles with my six-year-old son I don't need firepower when I'm rocking these guns I'm Kane, you sleep in a freezer in outer space I look you in the eyes, we get too much of a bitch to show your face You got a bad case and no shirt there, Fabio Flintstone Your whole plan got messed up by a hunchback with Down Syndrome 300 asses need a chicken What is that reference? I don't think I get this reference A hunchback with Down Syndrome?
Oh, it's oh, it's just what happened in the movie 300. This is going to be one of those things that I'm going to have to be embarrassed to admit. I have never seen the movie 300 in its entirety. I usually end up falling asleep uh, pretty early in. Like when the arrows start raining and it blacks out the sun, I'm like nodding off at that point. But that was a good final bar. More tea bags than Lipton. I think that was a middle finger. All right, guys, what do you think? What do you think? Who won that one? You decide. Was it Leonidas or was it perhaps Master Chief? Thank you, Bono, by the way, for the prime. Appreciate that. Lizmaz, Lizams, thank you for the 19 months. I'm dank. Thank you for the seven months of prime. Zislead, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, hello, new chatters. I spelled both wrong. Well, what happened is I spelled Leonidas wrong, and I thought if I spell Leonidas, people are going to make fun of me. So if I intentionally spell Master Chief wrong, people will be like, oh, he's just being silly. That was kind of my hope. I've kind of been thwarted now, but Master Chief, why is everything on the third row, man? I'm going to put this at a B tier, eh, probably a C tier, actually. I don't think that was that phenomenal. Really, their political coverage has been phenomenal. Anyway, Leonidas won that one in your guys' opinion. F tier, I could see an F tier. That makes sense. I could, I could be, I could be swayed to go F. All right, Mozart versus Skrillex. I feel like I remember this one being a banger. I remember seeing this one and being like, yo, this is so true. Especially because I was a kid who would watch YouTube videos of classical music and then comment, man, I wish my generation listened to this instead of literally robots having sex. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Willix, man. Welcome to the devil's den. I was scared much stuff in this sprite and frilly pants. You're a weirdo, Wolfie. You're into powdered wigs and poo. And your cousin blew notes on your little magic flute. Wait, what? Wait, I'm sorry. Hold up. There's a couple things I need to cover here. What is the poop reference? What's the poop reference? Mozart was into poop play? Is it is it is it a female cousin? Is it just like a woman cousin that sucked his dick? This was like a one off. They married? It's not that weird. My grandparents are cousins. I actually support that. I'm on Mozart's side so far. Notes on your little magic flute. Daddy issues make the jacks of five look like the family circus. You might have been a genius, but you died broken, worthless. Good one. I'm a famous. I'm a playlist. I'm the A-list. You're the lamest. Kiss my ass. Uh, 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 I'm a dance. Was that the verse? Or did you just get the hiccups? I'm a prodigy, Sally, and I'm about to smack a bitch up. My music is 200 years old, and it's still excellent. In two more months of work, we'll forget about the skrill extra. I can't True. believe the way you dress when you dump step out of the house. You're like an evil Steve Urkel. You reek of death. Now. I am the world's greatest oh, good one. No one knows what you are. Except a lonely little troll who knows how to press a space pipe. Woo! You decay. Can't sustain my releases. Sad chain wolf game. Bang a ring you to pieces. I'm a self-made man.
shit, bro. Damn. Ah. I mean, especially watching this with eight years of hindsight. It's pretty hard to argue. Mozart went dumb hard. I I you know, I might I might be so crazy that I throw this where is it? Where is it? Why do I always lose you? I might throw this in S tier, man. This might be the greatest one I've heard today. The only bar that I didn't like was the pianissimo to fortissimo, and then he explained it because I felt like, you know, he could have gotten that point across without being redundant. But outside of that, I mean, he, every line hit really hard. And Skrillex, you know, he held his own. This was B or C? Oh, couldn't agree less. Couldn't agree less. I'm almost curious. I'm going to look up on Spotify. Who gets more monthly listeners, do you guys think? Skrillex or Mozart? What's your guess? What's your gut? Bang, rang, freak out. Okay, Skrillex gets 27 million monthly listeners. That's a lot. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Six million. I mean, the numbers don't lie there. Hey, the numbers don't lie. I will say, to be fair, let's see who has the most views on YouTube. Because that's usually more popular. The best of Mozart, 223 mil. Requiem, 101. Lacrimosa, 75. is my favorite Mozart song. He didn't write, He only wrote like 14 seconds, then he died. Skrillex. Versus the right bros. No, I'm sorry. This was really funny. Just the the idle animation of the right bros, like they're a, like a video game fighter. <laughs> oh shit! It's a sap nap raid. Hold up, I gotta do the Sap Nap Raid song. Oh, hey. It's time for the Sap Nap Raid. Woohoo! Sap Nap is way worse than me at video games. Sorry, it's a song. I didn't write it. Sap Naps, dog shit compared to me. That's specifically video game. Anyway, sorry, don't take away the host. I was just fucking around. Just me being, just me making some shots. <clears throat> Guys, we are watching the epic rap battles of history. If you remember this from your childhood, perhaps you are still in your childhood. So I guess it was, you know, still an older part of your childhood. And we're rating to see if, one, are they still good? Do these hold up? Like, it's been eight, nine years. Are these still funny? I don't know. Two, let's rank the ones that we've listened to. So far, I've listened to Wolfgang, Mozart, um, Skrillex. That was the one I thought was the best. Obama. Actually, you know, I think the Obama one is better. Yeah, 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 you know, Obama, Mitt Romney, Steve Jobs, um, the Russian leader one, and Master Chief. We're just now heading over to Mario Bros versus the Wright Bros. So that's what we're, we're jumping into that one right now. Um, we're just starting. So you guys came at a great time. And then we vote at the end who's... 
who's better? Because you you decide. Epic rap battles. Is that Rhett Link? Plane and make out with each other. Look at these two. Their life must have been horrible. Two dorky dudes. They well were adorable. You spent all your time on one machine? If you wanted to fly, you should have seen this. <laughs> no way! Are you kidding me? Nine years before society caught up, epic rap battles dropped the sheesh? Well, for adorable. You spent all your time on one machine? Sheesh! Good one. Anyway, look at you so you might fly like a hawk. Would you fight like a kitty? We don't need a fight. We're the kitty hawk. Good one. North Carolina. I will be pressing all your buttons like we're the controller. Talk a rapid level up here to the scroller. You talk a lot of trash, but let me tell you something. Mm. We're gonna beat you so fast. It's, it's like we're holding down the beat button. Up an oh, good, because you run with that. We're gonna knock you off the back of your own stupid corner. Like bow. How you like me now? Spit flames out of mouths like a name with bow. Man, there was zero substance in that song. Like, the Obama one, Mitt Romney one was great because they had so many little hidden gems of information. This one's entire roast of the Wright brothers was, you guys made a, p a plane. Your brothers, in, your, by the way, your names, they're stupid. <laughs> Straight up, Wilbur and Oroville. Like, while you're sitting there named Mario and Luigi. And then you you guys are from Kitty Hawk. Like, that was that was a bar. I, I don't know. That that's that was terrible. Um, anyway, who won? Uh Mario Bros or Wright Bros. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm gonna rate this one while we wait. I'm I'm feeling like a F. I mean, just genuinely bad. I didn't get a lot from that. I feel like they should have done a little more research, not been so surface level. I would have liked to have learned a bit, I guess. I don't know. Am I crazy for that? They're making me feel crazy for that. I don't know if that's a goal of theirs. I'm just rating on how good the bars are and how, like, you know... If it's funny, pretty much, that's it. Anyway, right bros win, according to chat. Next up, the sheesh was good. You know what? I might throw it into the C tier just because of the sheesh. Let's go next. Hitler versus Vader 2. Okay, should we watch the original before watching the sequel? We'll watch them in order. Hitler versus Vader. Isn't it funny that there's a video on the internet, if you were brand new to the internet, called Hitler versus Vader 2? Like a brand new person to the internet would be like, there's another one? <laughs> this is a sequel? You're telling me they already did Hitler versus Vader and there's a sequel? Wow, this has not even close. Oh, here it is. Here's the original. 11 years ago. Wow. That is so old. This is like Modern Warfare 2's release date. Apparently, there's three, by the way. I guess well, let's just watch the trilogy, I suppose. Epic rap battles of history. Darth Vader. Mm. What is it? Mm. Adolf Hitler. Begin. I am Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I feel so inappropriate watching this. This is Christ feels so high. like this started in three people typed in nodders because of the rap beat to Hitler rapping like uh, this is crazy. These are not equal evils. You know, it's just they're not. I, I don't remember this well enough, but I hope that in the raps, Darth Vader just wins. I hope I don't want to be at the end like. Ah, I mean, Vader had some good bars, but Hitler really came through. 
I don't want to do that, so let's uh, let's just watch. Ugh. Command of the Third Reich. Little known fact, also dope points the mic. You are Vader. Vis your little boots and cape and helmet to cover up that burnt ass face. You have the force to move objects. I am a fourth truly evil, even went back in time and tried to back as a priest. This is crazy. You. You this is crazy that you filmed B roll of doing a Nazi salute. You can't rhyme against the dark side of the force. Why even bother? So many dudes been with your mom who even knows if I'm your father. You're a pissed off little prick Good one. with a Napoleon dick. You call that a mustache? I call that dirty Sanchez on your lip. You bitch. Let me remind you who you're wow. messing with. Everything that you Holy did, shit. I'm the motherfucker who invented it. I'm the original dark lord. You're like the sorcerer's apprentice. My soul troopers make yours look like someone took a piece of shit and cloned it. You stink, Vader. Your star smells something sour. You need to buy up, dog. Here, step in my shower. I'll turn all your oh friends against God. you. Just my speech is breed haters, but you might save a bird clan of all your white neighbors. Suck my robot ball. Now take a step back and let me freeze yours off. A little carbonite bath for your goop stepping ass. We'll call my homeboy in Israel. See who got the last laugh. Who won? Who's next? You decide. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. And at the end, by the way, did he, did, I'm sorry. After Darth Vader froze Hitler in carbonite, did he just insinuate like <laughs> that he's like friends with the Jewish people <laughs> to like dunk on him? All right. Yeah, fair enough. He blew up a planet, but he's really chill with Jewish people. <laughs> he's cool with that. This this is crazy. All right, chat. Who do you think won, by the way? Who won? Do you think Hitler won? <laughs> I don't actually want to do this poll on hindsight. I was about to type in the poll and I decided not to. You know what? Sometimes you should ask if you should do something. And I've, I've, I'm smart now. I figured this out. I just look, this is for your guys' sake. Okay. Do you really want to have a chat message recorded down forever that says, I think Hitler won. Do you really want to have that written down? Really? Is that something you really want to write down? So let's just move on and let's just see the number two. Very cinematic. This is Jabba's cave. That's Princess Leia disguised. Classic. Great scene. Is Princess Leia going to release Hitler from Carbonite? Really? Damn, the special effects do not hold up. At all. <laughs> That's just duct tape. Take off the mask. Who would do this? Who are you? He went back for seconds? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The funny part about this is the stormtrooper starts dancing the moment he says these words. Uh, these what, sir? These robot nuts. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. So let me do it. Get my food. You look stressed, Vader. You appear to be in pain. You need a vacation. Here, take a trip on my train. I mean, you need to get out. You made that joke last time. Dude. Not surprising coming from the Emperor's Hall. Yeah, yeah, take that. What's the matter? Where is the DJ? Why are you laughing? What? That is the biggest plot twist I've ever seen. Is that Stephen Hawking?
because you're standing over the rank or of it. Hey, yeah. What? And he just, it ends? How does that add up? <laughs> That's crazy. That's the craziest cameo I've ever seen in my life. Man, this this was crazy, huh? All right, hey, part three, everybody. We gotta finish. We gotta finish it. You know, I never finished the final trilogy of Star Wars. I watched the first two and just didn't watch the third. Should I chat? Bro, what is that CGI? Holy shit, this looks terrible. <laughs> they had so much money and so many connections for it to look this bad. I guess it was like eight years ago. That Rancor pit looks like a booty hole. Or the Sarlacc pit. Vader, this is your last chance. Battle me or die. Why is Lincoln working for Vader? Darth Vader. They could have just used Stormtroopers. Is that... Is that who I... Okay, I'm sorry. There is so much wrong with using the exact scene in episode six where Luke Skywalker saved his life and then equating that to Hitler. There's so much wrong with that. Because this is the hero's exact action scene and then Hitler's doing it. I'll stop pausing. Episode five, I, excuse me. All right, we'll get to it. Say what you will about Hitler, I don't think he was a great guy. Thank you for the Drakes. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, that was... Hey, man. You, all I have learned from this, the internet was a crazy time. You know you cannot say the word cunt without getting immediately demonetized on YouTube now? You cannot say that word. That's why there are zero successful Australian YouTubers. And laser beam. <laughs> but, I, you know, I guess shit hit different back then. All right, back to it, back to it. We got Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. This one's a little more recent, actually. I don't know if I ever watched this one, but it's five years old. Rank them? Oh, yeah, I should rank them. 
Uh, I, I think I'm just going to rank the trilogy as a whole rather than trying to rank each one. Do you know what I mean? So I'll just rank the trilogy as a whole. It's definitely... Um, it's like a beautiful time capsule. It's like a it's like a uh, a window into the soul of 2012 that y you know you couldn't capture as well these days. They even said the phrase "epic fail." They made a D's nuts joke, you know. So I, it was beautiful in a way. Beautiful. I'll give it a solid B. I'll throw it at a B here. I would not put it at an S. It really felt like every single Hitler bar was, hey, man, I'm going to fucking kill you like I did when I committed mass genocide. That was like every... He just like used a different way to say that every time. He didn't really change it much. Like, it was basically like, say the line, Bart. And he went, I'm going to throw you in the train. And it's like... And then Boba Fett was trash. That whole part sucked. I could appreciate the cinematography of two and three, though. They really went above and beyond there, even if it looked like a you know, middle school project. The Boba T line was not good. My name is Boba Fett like Boba T. I'm going to put my balls in your mouth. That seems so... My name is Ludwig like wearing a wig. You have bad hair. It's a little on the nose. It's so incredibly on the nose. It's too on the nose. You know what, though? I can't appreciate how uh, willing they were to toe the line. But, you know, I don't even think I should give it credit for that because I don't think this was towing the line in 2012. You know what I mean? So, like, it doesn't matter. In the context of the time it was released, this was standard. So I don't think it, like, you could give it a buff if you're, like, reviewing it in today's context. In 2012 context, kind of mid. Anyway, we got our next one here. This is um, Donald Trump versus Hillary. Again, this is the newest one. Five years old. Newest in quotes. But uh, the the newest one I've ever seen. I've never seen one from this uh, era. So we'll see if they held up. But I liked the Obama one a lot. This was released a month before the elections. I think we know how that ended. I just recognized right now and made the connection that Donald Trump's like passive face kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong doing the taunt in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Donald Trump. Like look at him in the back imitating Trump. start from Hillary. Oh, good one. Say, I respect all females. We arrive the trash. Put up next to your emails. Our country's in crisis. Who wants to vote for the mother of ISIS? That might not be exactly true, but I don't do my like that. Well, you to talk about misogyny. Your bill's worse than Cosby. He left a mess on okay, that dress like you left in Benghazi. Never you know. want to break the glass ceiling, Hillary, I sense it. The only crack you'll find is my ass pressed against it. The numbers are in it, I'm right in your tail. I don't have the stamina, baby, you're frail. This will be just like a way when you fail. Trouble will point you to jail. How do I say this? 
ear or two. And you almost lost the primary to a socialist Jew. What are the American people got a Yankee doodle do? They're gonna throw your fat face at the just the dirty you. Would have been so pog if Bernie won. A strong male leader who could stand up to China. Met a pretty little wishy washy bleeding my vagina. I'm gonna run these streets like I run my casino. Did he dab? He was a good call, Lincoln. He did do that in 20, 2020. 20, yeah, you know, but the, hey, he kind of predicted January 6th. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> good call there, Lincoln. There's an equal opportunity. Smackdown in a sequel. Let's go the people. Fire the people. Fire the people. Right, he slapped Trump twice. Wow, 138k downvotes. I think it's because it was pretty clear from at least Lincoln's speech, who was supposed to be the moral center, that Hillary was the correct choice. I imagine. At least that's what it felt like, what Lincoln was trying to put across. Chad, who, who do you think won? Was it Clinton or was it Donald Trump? It was crazy when they um, just called Obama the N-word. That was crazy. I assume that it's like all through the veil of, oh, I'm Donald Trump saying it though. <laughs> No, you don't get it. I'm Donald Trump implying that. <sighs> Stop the count. Yeah, that was that was not I don't think that was nearly as good as Obama and Mitt Romney. Call me crazy. I wouldn't say it was nearly as good. Obama, Mitt Romney, I mean, that's modern day art. I wouldn't say this was better than Hitler versus Vader either. Yeah, I would put it at like, uh, it was more shock value than funny, really, you know? When I feel like when your comedy turns to shock value more than funny, I feel like you've made a misstep along the way. Where is it? It's newer, right? Is it even on this list? It might be too new to actually... Oh, no. Here it is. Um, yeah, I, I would give it a... Uh, do I think Steve Jobs, Bill Gates was better? I kind of think the Russian one was better. I might do this. I think I might do this. It was definitely... I might throw the Mario here. I think this is good. I feel happy with that. It was not as bad as Mario Bros. Right Bros. I'll give him that. Mario Bros. Right Bros. was just genuinely boring. Artists versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I like how the YouTube title is just artists. 
<laughs> I get the reference. I can see it from the thumbnail. Artists. This one should be good, I imagine. There's a lot of history here. Leonardo. Raphael. Larson. Leonardo. Michelangelo. Donatello. Creepy costumes. So let's get it on. Mm. Reptiles against the fathers of the Renaissance. We got mm. the classical technique to kick these three toe freaks back onto the street. Ooh, ooh. I take a turtle and a tournament and miss me. You don't really want to step to the Vinci. I love the ladies, I like to keep it mellow. So let me pass the mic to my man Donatello. Uh, hard shell, but you're gross in the middle. Wouldn't want to touch you with a six foot chisel. Born in goop, raised in poop. I slice through a root from ninjas like fruit. Ooh. Yo, but my yell when I came to flow. Being dope by the Pope and the bone till I croak. I'm an MC sweater, but I get the feeling. I should pass it up to my man on the ceiling. We got the mathematics, the architects to reverse the rap addicts. You beat the foot, but it won't go well. When you catch an Italian boot to the half shell. The wisdom of our master taught us not to rush to violence. But our master ain't here, dude. Wait, wait, I gotta, I gotta rewind that. I, I don't want to miss a reference here. What does that mean? Sorry, hold up real quick. What is got a mulata? What is the reference here? Any reference, understanders? It's just his last name? Oh, it's a statue? <laughs> I'm sorry. So it's a statue he made, and he's saying, I don't get what you do, but then in the sentence, throwing a pun, saying he does know what he does. Okay, it's a little confusing. Uh, don't tell me who you are again, dude, because I don't got him a lot of clue what you do. That's because you and you just are too immature. You wouldn't know genius if a piss in your suit. We got the tell and the lie and the rhyme so sweet. We're like your NES game. Because we can't be beat. Don't go ahead and hate, we just can't our mind. You guys draw more dicks than New York Pride. Well, I'm <laughs> <laughs> you drop penises. <laughs> that was a funny line. <laughs> this has been trending on TikTok specifically because of this bar here. I don't really know why. I think it's this one. That is a good line right there. MC Shredder. I mean, that's a great line. They recreated it on TikTok. That was why. This is what actually spawned me watching this. Because I was scrolling through TikTok. And then Anthony Padilla, I think, right? Anthony Padilla in, in other Smosh Guy, Ian something or other. Recreated this scene. I take the turtle and the tournament and miss me. You don't really want to step to the Vinci. I love the ladies. I like to keep it mellow. So this is not them, by the way, obviously, but this is just more of that. Something. It's, some, it's somewhere there. You know, that was, I'm going to say, that was the best rapping. If we're rating this on rapping, that was just the, I think, the straight up best. The Ninja Turtles didn't have a lot to offer. I'm going to give it, I'm going to say that. I don't think they had a lot to offer. Where is it? Hold up. I always fail to find it. Fifth row. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Ah, you know what? I, I'm going to, I'm going to elevate Obama and Mitt Romney if I put this S. Because I don't think it was leagues above Obama, Mitt Romney. I might even be convinced Obama, Mitt Romney is their um, last judgment. Anyway, let's go next. We got Cleopatra versus Marilyn Monroe. We're probably going to do about five more here. Hey, I like this beat, though. This is good historical stuff. Like you could never kick my mm. ass, so kiss my clitoris. This ugly hanging Casim G got matching noses. Wait, <laughs> what? I don't think they have ever broke fourth wall, but referencing Casim G for a roast 
is so weird. I love Kasim. That's just crazy to be like <laughs> a Kasim reference. I don't think we've seen a fourth wall break like that. Right. Kick my ass, so kiss my clitoris. This ugly hag and Kasim G got matching um, noses. You better hold more than your skirt, miss, please. I'm the queen of the Nile, so just bow down to me. Plus, you got so much experience down on your knees. Married a oh, writer, shit. but I don't even think you can read. You'll sleep with any ugly dude who says he likes it hot. Even Joe DiMaggio took a swing in your batter's box. I'm oh. a descendant of the gods, don't anger me trick. You'll lose his battle like your belt. I have some ugly boys, but you're forgetting the others. With Marlon Brando and the Kennedys, well, you fucked your own brothers. You think you're so chic up in your fancy palace, getting low on Mark Anthony, tossing Caesar salad. You wear too much eyeliner for anyone to adore you. You might as well be working the door at Sephora. I got an ass that won't play. You had an ass that got bit. On the tip. Somebody wrap this bitch back up in carpet. You still got no children after your third marriage. You lost so many babies, we should call you Miss Carrie. You got an hourglass oh figure God. for that devoted. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> My best friends are diamonds. You can't beat me. Trip, step up and walk your ass home like an Egyptian. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. That was great, man. Hey, that was a good one. I, I, you know what? I was thoroughly enjoying all that. What was the asp reference? Something asp got bit? On your tit? I don't know what that was. Did she get bit by like a creature? I, what was it? What was, what was that? Asp is a snake. She died from a snake bite. That's a good reference then. If you could speak to someone after they died and be like roast them for getting bit by a snake and dying, that's pretty funny. Miscarriage? Yeah, that's tough. That's a pff. miscarriage. Like, damn. Oh, yeah, chat. We'll do a poll. Who won? Marilyn? Or, I spelt it wrong. I'm sorry. Or, um, Cleo. Did Cleopatra toss Caesar salad? Is this true? Cleopatra Caesar salad? They boned? What I will say was funny was... It, I, it was such a weird comeback because she was like, you fuck a bunch of ugly dudes. And then Marilyn Monroe went, yeah, I also fuck hot guys. <laughs> like, okay, cool. <laughs> she fucks the hottest dudes, wears the tightest threads. She did say you fuck your brothers. Is that true? Did Cleopatra fuck her brothers? Because that's, I mean, you just win. If you fuck your brothers and that comes up in a rap battle, I vote Marilyn here. You guys decided to go Clea. I think the Miss Carriage got you. All right, we got Goku versus Superman. Who would win in a fight, Goku or Superman? This is epic. Looks like a job for the OG. Superman! I'm killing it. You're killing it. I'm villainous to vegetables. Who dance around in hammer pants that hide their tiny genitals? My level is incredible. I'm out of your league. You know what? Justice, I'll bust this nut up in your GG. Greasy, sick MC from DC. One breath, I'll freeze your whole measly species. You're primitive and limited. You live in a village of idiots. Step in Metropolis, so step on character yet. How many times are they going to rewrite your story? Your powers have been boring since the 90s. Fucking Is that Ray William Johnson? I'm sorry. I just connected the dots. Jesus Christ. And you're flying Miss Daisy. You're pretty pasty to be powered by the sun. You can't float to Sun Goku. I kind of can't get it done. When I see your movies, all I do is watch the mm. clock. Because there's nothing fun about a superhero scared of green rocks. Look at those many. Sure. You got that camel. Oh. I'm bored to load playing a Superman at home. Oh. <laughs> your fight is weaker than your fight scene. Just one punch. <laughs>
I forget his name. There's the actor who played Superman, the original Superman, uh, was paralyzed. Christopher Reeves. Paralyzed from the, the, I think from the waist down. I think in a horse accident, something like that. Fell off a horse is the lore. Dang. You know what sucks, dude? You can, like, be just one of the sickest animators or storytellers or writers or whatever. And if you're from Japan, everyone's just going to be like, ah, you got nuked. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, fuck. <laughs> Damn, I wasn't even alive. Like, my dad wasn't alive. What do you want from me? <laughs> like, it was fucking 80 years ago. <laughs> Don't care, plus ratio, plus you got nuked. Goku with a resounding W. I would agree with that. I think, holy, this rap was pretty uninteresting. But I would land it somewhere around a C tier. I wouldn't go as far as F. It had a little more substance. A little more substance. You didn't rate Cleo? No, I did. Cleo's right here. All right, let's go next. Let's go next. We have a Moses versus Santa Claus. And that's Snoop Dogg, I think. Is that not supposed to be Snoop Dogg smoking weed? Oh, it's... Oh. Oh. They got... Snoop Dogg to be Moses? Oh. I was like, why isn't it Santa versus Snoop Dogg? But, mo okay. Sweet robes over it. One too many days in the sun. Stop preaching, homie. Teach your flock to cover some fun. I bring joy every year. Man, I represent cheer. You represent sandals and a scraggly beard. I'm from the North Pole. That's why my rhymes are so cold. I spit diamonds, but I'm serving up some fresh coal. You been a naughty boy. You brought a plague of frogs. You best arrest yourself. You broke your whole law. Or was it something in Rule 6 I didn't understand? My list says kill the Egyptian dude. Bury him in sand. I read your book. You got a strict religion. No bacon, but mandatory circumcision. I'm a jolly full of jelly, giving holiday presents. But all the chosen people ever get for Christmas is jealous. When I was high upon the mountain, God revealed the truths of the earth, but he never mentioned a fat-ass Papa Smurf. It takes nine reindeers to haul your fat ass. You took the Christ out of Christmas and just added more mass. You need to stop breaking the houses and creeping them, peeping on naughty kids while they sleeping and keep your hands off my stocking. Don't you hold hold me. I split your ass in half like I did the Red Sea. You ain't a saint. You a slaver like a pharaoh in the snow. Stop with the unpaid labor and let my little people go. Please, ladies. Let's hand turn your brains to mush. I think you need to stop smoking. And all that burning bush. Yeah, we're magical workers, man. We hang with reindeer. Yo, here's a GPS. Who gets lost for 40 years? You're a glorified secretary, so write this down. We got these nuts. Santa Claus is coming to town. So much drama in the Israel VC. It's kind of hard talking directly to the G.O. single D. Hand me my chisel. I got a new command diesel for y'all. Thou should not let children sit on a grown man's lap at the mall. I beat you 10 <laughs> times before true. the bread can rise, you dummy. And walk off into the land of my milk and honey. I mean, look, I've never seen a larger blowout. I've never seen a bigger blowout in my life. Do we even need to add a poll? It's pretty clear everybody's under the impression that Snoop Dogg crushed. Uh, just demolished. I mean, the fat jokes alone had the W there. It's not really fair because it was Snoop Dogg, but let's not fuck ourselves. Kid ourselves, I should say. Snoop Dogg didn't write these bars. You think Snoop Dogg? I don't think they were like, hey, Snoop, can you write these bars? I feel like they probably wrote and probably asked him to do it. He might have added some of his own things. I could imagine that. I could believe that. I'll go with an S. You know, I'm happy to. I'm happy to. Ah, do I like it more than Cleo? I like it more than Amadeus. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'll do it. I'll go nuts like that. Boom. 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 
All right, what else do we got, boys? We got a few more, a few more. Michael Jackson versus Elvis Presley. I remember the Gandhi versus Martin Luther King one. Uh huh. Oh shit. I just want to decompress what we just experienced there. Did he, was he implying what we thought? Is that what? Okay, no. Okay, but bubbles. Pedophilia. There's a few. Okay, all right, all right. You know, black and white just makes me nervous. I can tell you're angry, but I can't Ever since Hitler. I stole from black culture. Why are you offended? Your daddy beat go records out of you like alchemy. Don't make me spank you and dangle your ass off a roof balcony. Oh, oh, it's about time for a thrill. I didn't lose any chocolate. I just added vanilla. I'm going on the wall. I won't stop till I get enough. Whooping your big fat ass with a sonic glove. How you gonna talk about the birds of bees when you met your own wife when she was only 14 and you made one daughter? She uh, came to me. I took her to my is this true? Did Michael Jackson fuck Elvis's daughter? What? I mean, why are we doing a rap battle? If you fuck someone's daughter, it's over. You don't win. They're married? You're a creeper, dude. You like to grab your own winger. I don't let you marry my daughter because I knew you'd never bang her. You think you're tough? Man, you look like Tootie. I was better than you in my Blue Hawaii movie. You lost your damn mom as well as cast you in the whiz. You're like a sad white woman who never got to be a kid. I'm out before you try to hold me and free your willy. Later, weirdo. Elvis is alive in the building. I mean, I can't even. Is that Asmongold? I feel like this could not be an easier Michael Jackson win. Um, uh, you know, I would place this at a... It could go bottom of B, maybe. I kind of like the switch, though. They had, like, a time skip. Like, it's one piece in this bitch. That was kind of tight. <laughs> I didn't expect that because I, I didn't expect all oh, Elvis also had a time skip. That was kind of cool. This. All right. A couple more here. Let's do a couple. I think I'm going to do Gandhi versus Martin Luther King, and then we'll do a few classics and then we'll wrap it up. Wait, this is insane, right? This is just Key and Peele? I mean, that's a great duo to get. Okay, those are some bars there. Those are some bars. A couple breakdowns for you guys just to help out a little bit here. His name's, uh, it's Gandhi, but his, he goes by, what is it, Mahatma? Which is just an honorific. It's not actually his first name. It means Messiah. That's where that came from. Plagiarizing. That was a good one there. 
He did beat the cast system. I mean, but there's a lot of shit that Gandhi's like one of the people that's idolized that was like such a terrible human. I have to imagine Martin Luther King's gonna go hard. I'll stop pausing. I'm sorry. I just wanted to explain that one. Let's see. Luther. I'm not thinking you shall overcome this dude. I'm the king of civil rights from the city to suburbia. No shoes, no shirt, but I'm still gonna serve. Yeah. Make you swallow your words okay. so you can break the fast. And thank God Almighty, you can eat at last. I admire the way you funny. broke the British power, but I have a dream that one day you'll take a shower. Like the H in your name, you ought to remain silent. Flatten your style like bread, non violent You would know about bread, duck a bernie ham sandwich. Boy, got those grits, sit in with some spinach. With protested women, the same. David Vice goes, always stay away from the holes. I've got so much street cred, they write my name on the sides. I'd bring you for tech support, but I got a Nobel Prize. Nigga, we got more beef than one of your sacred cows, but I'm about to what? forgive you so hard right now. I am possibly <laughs> resisting the fact that you saw I am celibate because I don't give a fuck. Who won? <laughs> Who's there? You decide! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> that took me for a whirl. They didn't go nearly as hard as they should have, dude. There are so many things that you could roast about Gandhi and also Martin Luther King. I feel like they maybe touched on a few plagiarizing. But it feels like every bar against Gandhi was, hey, man, you're Indian and you fasted. And that was most of the bars. And then it was like 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 the non like the ones that could be at anyone. Like the ones that could be like, you know. His last what was his last bar? That you suck. I am celibate because I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that could be directed at anyone. Anyway, who do you think won, guys? Was it Martin Luther King or Gandhi? Yeah, Gandhi was like a was a bit of a pedo, man. Is a bit of a pedo, incestual pedophile. And racist, yeah. But he did fight the caste system. Kind of. Gandhi. All right, Gandhi. Hey, you know what? I thought that was good, though. I thought that was a solid A. I thought that was a solid A. Certainly better than Mozart. All right, let's let's watch some hits now. What are some hits that I'm missing? First of all, let's let's Einstein. Einstein versus Stephen Hawking. Oh, dude, this is giving me a nostalgia blast. Oh, my God. I almost just passed out. I forgot about this. When I apply my battle theory, minds are relatively blown. So take a seat, Steve. Oh, I see you brought your own. What's with your voice? I can't freaking tell. You sound like Barney. Having sex for the speaking spell. I'll school you anywhere. MIT to Oxford. All your fans will be like, um, that was Oxford. I'm as dope as two rappers. You better be scared. That's a good bar. I'll give it to him. No idea what you're messing with here, boy. I got 12 inch rims on my chair. That's how I roll, y'all. You look like someone glued a mustache on a troll doll. I'll be stretching out the rhyme like gravity stretches time. When you try to put your little pea brain against this kind of mind. I'm the best. I'm a stupid dog of science. I'll be dropping mad apples on your head from the shoulders. I'm a giant whose shoulders you'd have stood on if you could stand. I'll give you a brief history. Dude. <laughs> I forgot about this. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god.
Oh shit! Oh shit! That's a fucking calculator, pussy! I mean, hey. Sometimes you gotta give a credit to the best. You gotta give it to the GOAT. That's the greatest one I've seen all day, baby. You know what's funny? I didn't even... I looked this up while I was rolling. This bar right here. Where is it? brain apparently a p brain is a point particle that can be viewed as a brain of dimension zero which doesn't mean anything to me at all but it's a part of string theory and it's some nerdy shit that i didn't know about until just now so that's kind of sick i don't know i imagine nerds who study string science gather around and go hey what's up p brain Give a little chuckle. Drink some coffee or mate. What do they drink these days? All right. Einstein Hawking. Who won, chat? Who won? What's string theory? Uh, it's, ah, dude, it's really complicated. But it was uh, it was all done by Stephen Hawking. And I think it was, his, it was uh, I forget. It was one of his later theories. If you look up Stephen Hawking Rule 34, I think you can find out pretty much everything about it. Yeah, just check that. Just check that out. All right, Hawking wins. Pfft, free. I want to see now. Let's do this. I want to see. I want to do this to us, chat. I want to watch the newest epic rap battle of history. Because we've kind of watched these old ones. Some kind of hold up here. I'm not going to lie. Some of these, maybe not. So I think it'd be interesting to watch the new one they've done. I don't know if I necessarily want to watch Ragnar Lodbrok or Harry Potter versus Luke Skywalker in Legos, but the Donald Trump versus Joe Biden, I'm going to give that one a shot because they usually do pretty high effort on their presidential ones. So I'm going to I'm going to give this one a shot to see if their new shit is terrible, they're washed, or if it still holds up to some degree. I have to go quick pee pee. So give me just a moment. Give me just a moment. Be right back. Quick PP break. Hey, boys.
I'm back. I was not falling in, though. I just took a two-minute pee break. Is there an OT? You're kidding. Someone said watch the OTV versus OTK one. There's no way that exists. But by God, would I love to see that. It'd be so cringe. All right, are we ready to rumble? Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. Should I do Thanos versus Oppenheimer instead, actually? People freak out about the Joker versus Pennywise. I just want to do a recent one. I want to do one of these recent ones. I can appreciate Thanos versus Oppenheimer because Thanos, you know, killed half the world and Oppenheimer invented the nuclear bomb. So, that you know, there's I can I can respect that. I don't really care about Joker Pennywise. I don't care. I don't care, dude. I'll do Trump Biden. We've done all the political ones. Over under, will they say the N word again? Or excuse me, will they imply the N word again? If you guys didn't see it, they did one with Trump versus Hillary Clinton. And Trump uh, all but said the N word. It's the DJT, getting it on The Teflon Don on the White House lawn Against wimps like you, I'll win a third time Your campaign's like your family Crash and burn Take looting and violence, so keep the MAGA movement quiet <laughs> Is this me? That's a riot Why'd you step behind the gym? I'll be standing by see how tough you are against the 45 uh, I should've hoped for your whole party Bigger than the one I blew through Cause I'm Soleimani, uh then I go and phone on Milani. Ah, I'm gonna smash you, Joe. Like I've got all the best cognition with all the top grammar. I'm not a little girl's shoulders, so you can't touch this MC stammer. You're a disaster inciting hysteria. You say I'm selling hate in America. You're selling hate in America. Like with Hillary, the people aren't swayed. Just Barack's shadow. And I don't really like the shade. The pain of losing loved ones. <laughs> That's the worst. Joe Biden I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's just terrible. And I don't really like the shade. The pain of losing loved ones is something I have seen. So I know how you must have felt when they killed Jeffrey Epstein. Ooh. Rap lyrics just ain't for you. You should stick love letters for Kim Jong-un. You're a wrestling heel. Nothing but just real. But you didn't even really write the art of the deal. But you tapped into the rage of red man. <laughs> That's matters. gonna work. Well, let me tell you, Trump, all lies matter. Uh, I don't want to defund no police. I picked a DA for my VP. I'm not a communist. I'm not a socialist. I'm just an old ass man with some decency. No matter what you This feels like... Say. My watch is tear gas from law enforcement. I'll keep America great. You'll unleash a Tifa and keep America like Portland. Ain't nothing gonna be me. No person, woman, man, camera, TV. Eh, they impeached me. I still walked out of DC looking peachy. You got the sloppy Joe, but no beef. The only way privilege I see are those teeth. Maybe teach your son a thing or two about life. Like there's no hunting season for your dead brother's wife. You and your mask and your night rider shades are getting revoked like your rovers is way. There's no blue way. Forget it, not coming. It's like I tell criminals, Joe, stop running. Was Brianna Taylor running? Hmm? You dog whistling fool. <laughs> I think your daddy would finally be proud of you. He was a racist asshole, too. What's this malarkey? Oh, you bug! Keep at it and you'll end up in jail. <laughs> you're taking down like a mule. And you're a mailbox. From all your wives to the SATs. Everything you ever did, you just had to cheat. Because you're too insecure to even look like a loser. You're the worst damn Republican since Herbert Hoover. When you scooped up a sycophantic overvote loser. Remember, came the Constitution's domestic abuser. 200,000 deaths lying at your door. You think they're suckers like McCain in the Marine Corps. Sometimes I can't tell for which side you're rooting. When we go high, you go down on poo. Oh, truth is, you're scared to lose. You got nothing in the bank that I owe you. You, 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 you whine about balance like a bitch. 
But the only thing that's rigged is taxes for the rich. Huh. You're a freeloader. Huh. Change your name to Trey. My campaign grab enough. You can't get down a rail. I'm pulling away faster than your wife's hand. For the love of democracy. Will you shut up, man? Damn, no Lincoln? The no Lincoln at all? Yo. They, Joe did go for a while. Joe went on for a while, yeah. No Lincoln. That's a little bit of a shame there. I'm kind of shocked they didn't bring in Lincoln. It felt like this was an opportunity for the people at Epic Rap Battles of History to appeal to, like, middle-aged suburban American voters. To try to be like, hey, you know, Biden's not that bad. He's actually not a he's not a communist or a socialist. He hired a DA, you know. Um, if you guys don't know, Trump actually had 200,000 people die under his watch. They did try the same thing with Hillary and it failed. This seemed a little more effective. I'll give him that. Hey, Biden won. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Oppenheimer Thanos. All right, we'll try it. Because that was terrible. I mean, I'm just, hey, I'm going to say it right now. I, was, I mean, that was terrible. I, that was, I think, the worst one we've seen today. It's not even on here. It's too new to be on this tier list, so it's not on here, but it is the worst one I've seen today. A bottle of her stool. Jerk, robber, Auburn Harbor. Mm. Bullshit! Okay. <laughs> it's just a dude. I am inevitable, immeasurable, inexorable, monstrous, with bars weighing on you harder than your haunting you so guilty weird. I am fat I'm sorry, I haven't listened to a word yet because it looks so fucking bad. This looks so bad. You look like a penis head. I am inevitable, immeasurable, inexorable, monstrous, with bars weighing on you harder than your haunting guilty conscious. I am Thanos, and I crush tracks like tesseracts in my palm. You're a pencil pushing Terran who never learned to love his bomb. Seems you started off a chemist, and on your world you were a prodigy. Well, that makes sense, because your rhymes are only hot periodically. Man, I burned the Avengers down to embers, sent half your planet to be slaughtered, and now I'm off and off. Oppenheimer like I did to my daughter Got a physical when I'm rapping Six infinity gems when I'm packing Stick your tiny nuclear dick back into your pants Dr. Manhattan Hadron smashing all your atoms Best not collide with me when I'm rhyming Cause you break and bleed so easy I think I'll call you Oppenheimer It's impossible to top me off me. You just don't have the stone Apparently the only thing you're good at wrecking is a home Cause you suck with your friend's wife Right there in your friend's bed Then got another married girl pregnant You should have gone for the head Listening to you took everything I have left After your reps, I am become deaf You need an Iron Man for that wrinkly ass skin And that butt, 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 butt chin Here we go now Where's your rhythm? I thought you had the time stone Your punchlines sound like they came from Rhyme Zone You might be something in the MCU But between us, who's the worst MCU? You. Your dialogue's got too many breaks in the syllable You talk so slow, Drax thinks you're invisible I cause chain reactions when I'm lyrical Cause I've got that fissile material You were born to eternal But came out looking so scary That your own mother Tried to make you a temporary Meanwhile I've mastered the atom More than any man alive Now I'm here to split you Like two and three from five I'm a peaceful man But I do what I must You had an evil plan, Thanos And it left you in the dust It must leave you enraged When you compare our talents Because in this battle There is no balance For a communist pariah You come off as awfully cocky but I'll make you bend the knee and round two like Nagasaki I'm the box office topper, the Marvel show stopper Got my name on this win like it's the Thanos copter You just got no answer for Fortnite's dopest dancer I will low-key choke you out like my name was throat cancer You wanna talk about death? How about the one that looked at you and swiped left? I'm the destroyer of worlds, you got your nuts handed to you by a squirrel girl We're in the end game now, Tinky Winky A physicist like Ant-Man all up in your stinky Anyone who believes that Thanos did nothing wrong crap Has obviously never heard you rap Oh snap Hold on That was Who's down? You got some That was bad man Oh uh -huh. You know Hey Oppenheimen You know I like a good Hyman joke every now and again Uranium-235, it's a bit nerdy. Can appreciate that. Everything else, not really that big of a fan of. 
Also, it was weird that what was it was weird that Thanos was like uh, he made the Nagasaki reference. It's uh, I don't really I didn't really get that. All right, uh, uh, someone said someone said you gotta watch Doctor Seuss. Know the stakes? I'll put a slug between your shoulder blades. Then ask what light through yonder poser breaks. I have been, I am back on that assy bastard. My rhymes are classic. Your crap is drafted by kindergartner high on acid. Yo, man, you're an old white soldier boy who has no swag and no gonads. Eat gads, it's so sad. And to top it off, you're not a doctor. I've never seen a softer author. You crook, you. I bet you wrote the Twilight books too. Features are pathetically predictable. You think you do but binding through the trisyllabic meter and some ghetto creatures. The bard is the building, it's a castle, I'm a boss. Better parliament, the positive, I'm killing it, some iller than the plague, and never caught a color of all of all on some cricket bowl of business while you're sitting in the bleachers. You rap fast, you do. Yes, you rap fast, it's true. <laughs> now let's see how you rap versus things one and two. Oh, oh. oh no, <laughs> that's so bad, dude. It's so oh, no, dude. God damn, 2012 YouTube, it was like, let's just pitch the voice up. Hey, let's just make it really high pitch and annoying. It's not close who won. I mean, everybody is pretty under. <laughs> Everyone's got to be under the impression that Dr. Seuss got rocked. Got actually thrashed. Epic rap battles of history. Ben Shapiro versus Hassan Abi. <laughs> Let's get nuts. It's weird because isn't Dr. Seuss also like, didn't he like cheat on his wife and like, you know? Do a bunch of shit. Wait, Ludwig commented? <laughs> no way! Oh, that's so embarrassing! Oh, no! Oh, that's... <laughs> I can't believe that exists. Why is it the first thing they show you in the comments? I don't want to see that. Oh my God, Rick Astley versus Rebecca Black, the world's worst. You know what's actually a good one? That's actually a good one though. Hey, that's actually a, you know what? That's actually a good idea. True. Wait, this is literally me still. I can't do that, right? <laughs> oh my God, two hundred and eighty thousand comments, and I commented on it. I was sixteen years old. Why did I do this, man? <laughs> that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. I wonder if I had comments on the other ones. There's no way to check his most popular uploads or what? Oh, there it is. 
All right, let me click on them. Bing, bang, boom. Skadab, skadip, skadoop, skadab. Bebop, boop. <laughs> I'm so anxious. It, that, was it literally the only video I clicked on is the one I happened to have commented on? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Rick Astley versus Rebecca Black. You're on the wrong channel? No, Nice Peter did all of season one. Nice Peter did all of season one, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, you missed one of these? Wait, which one? John Lennon versus Bill O'Reilly? <sighs> oh, God, that's so embarrassing. Check your comment history. Uh, we'll say, hey, you know, hey, we'll save it for another YouTube video. All right, boys, everybody relax, okay? <laughs> you know? People are seeing this on YouTube. I like the YouTube video. Subscribe. We, you know, maybe we, we get a lot of likes. We get a lot of subscribers. We, we do that. Uh, for now, we don't. Edgar Allan Poe. Should I go through all these? Or should I save this for another day? What time is it? We got some time. Season one is a classic, though. We could go through all of season one another day. I think we keep it here, baby. We keep it here. We keep it rocking. We throw this on the YouTubes. The YouTube people go, we like it. Then we maybe do a season one review. Just season one. I'll I'll end with one more, chat. How about I'm gonna do exactly one more? I'm gonna do Edgar Allan Poe. That I didn't even type that in. I just said something and didn't type it in at all. Is this? I thought that was Brian David Gilbert. <laughs> People are saying this one's not as good. The director's is a season finale, and the season finales are always the best. What the fuck battles of our story? Steven Spielberg! Forsyth! Alfred Hitchcock! Yes. Picture a child sitting next to a projector, learning from your films to become a much better director. Now picture a $3 billion dream machine who can block us all over your crop just, just to see. see. Try to do it with me, Alfred, you must be psycho. I'll bring back jobs and take a bite of your life, bro. I'm always so on top of my game, I get the vertigo. My jet's in the terminal, waiting for me to murder you. I rock the Academy and the DGA. You rock as many Oscars as that schlep Michael Bay. Next time you're filling up those jowls with three steaks and souffle. Check the trade, see me amble to my next big play. I produce cartoons and make games for all ages. You produce Jimmy Stewart making one of two faces. Maybe next time I visit, you'll be a bit more gracious. I'll kiss my full moon and just bask in my greatness. That was a close encounter of the third kind. But there won't be a pretty ending this time. Half your billion should go to John Williams. Now brace yourself True. as I reveal my brilliance. I'm the master. All suspense, so intense, no defense against Hitchcock once he presents. Mescal is enormous, orchestrate, brilliant performance, you're more horrible than Megan Fox is acting in Transformers. Come on! Fish puppets and muppets to stir the fears up. I squeeze screams out of chocolate syrup. I'm the best mamma jamma ever stood behind the camera. Damage panderers and haunt you like the last Indiana. Give me a Tylenol, stop rhyming, y'all. Alfred, you got no style, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. There's only one movie I know you're from. And I've seen more blood in the shower and a stomach toe and more. Tried to fight in World War One, but couldn't do that. The British Army wouldn't let you join because you were too fat. Look it up, it's a true fact. <laughs> Wikipedia that. Now allow me to attack Stephen the Hack. Due to war, the world's a failure is what I label you. It looked like some sellout bullshit Michael Bay would do. Ask anybody. What's your favorite Sam Jackson part? No one's gonna say. What's his name from Jurassic Park? The scripts that I write ain't the cleanest. Ah. When I grip mics, I'm the mean dick. Quentin Tarantino is a genius. A bad motherfucker. From the wallet to the penis. That's a, okay. That's a good reference. Bad motherfucker. I can like that. I can appreciate that reference. I like that one. I like that one. Genius. 
is a powerful word, but there's no reason to use it unless you're talking about the Kubrick. Then there's really nothing to it. Everything I do is visionary. Every single frame of painting made exactly how I wanna make it. Do another take and get it right. 127 times. I'll make you learn to love me on the bar. Drop over violent rhymes like clockwork. Make you all hurt. Beat Spielberg, the color purple. AI is the worst waste of potential since the Ninja Turtles. That's enough. I've heard enough crap from all of you. When I come down there and show you what a real star can do, I swoop blow with the telephoto. No Bruckheimer, I work solo. If there's one thing I've learned, bitch, this game is about motherfucking money. I make that dollar, y'all, motherfucking money. Even make Mark Wahlberg make some motherfucking money. Shopping, got a few drops of that got milk money. Rose to the rock, now I got that socks made of silk money. I ain't got that guilt money, I don't give a fuck. I take my checks to the bank and I sign them with my love. No, honestly, I respect Michael Bay more after that. All these other directors are, seem depressed. They want to create something great. Don't say actually Ludwig in reference to Michael Bay. That was not big Ludwig energy. Nobody thinks that was big Ludwig energy. BLE's not a thing. Don't say it like, oh, this one seems good, though. A philosophy one has to be good. is sure to be expected from men who speak of wisdom with no clue of what respect is. You Westerners are sloppy, needing discipline in life. You lack control of yourselves and of the mic. Well, we use precise strikes to disrupt your concentration. And you and ass whipping our descendants will honor for generations. We build a nation with patience and the presence for a living. And you never hold a candle to the wisdom we've written. Oh, I'll give you something you can bow and cow, cow to. And I squat down and squeeze out a dower poo and now so you need to take control of the life you're giving They call me Uber Mensch, cause I'm so driven And I'm a free thinker, so confronting conformists like you It's my job Got a sharp wit that can spit It'll skew you like a Confucius kebab oh. You flub the mission of beating your submissive ass into submission This is now more disses than letters and pamphlets and plays I've been published Now that we've covered the two yin and yang I can move on to Jackie Chan Since so I'll be picking a pot you'll rule with my method Man The seminal general isn't so tough on the mic Are your men must be like yo what happened So you better get your guns out. These white boys getting burned because guess didn't have what? Guns. Not a sun's out. Go. Asians <laughs> spitting sick, but no, this isn't SARS. Lao C kink the beat. Mm. Now Confucius drop some bars. Let me be candy with you, Voltaire. French trip with the egg noodle hair. Your ego's just so distracting. Free speech doesn't mean just keep yapping. You kill guys on my ass. I just have to, like... Dude, it'd be so sick if I could, like, get Confucius in the afterlife and be like, bro, you gotta watch this. <laughs> And he'd be like, no, dude, like, you're the five millionth person. Like, I've seen it. I'd be like, no, I need to watch you watch this. And he'd be like, oh, come on. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Die your shame when he made your mustache. You try to plan a new German psyche, but you just grew hate me. No, they right. And it all starts with you. You're the father, Socrates. Honestly, I think you owe both of your students here an apology. I wouldn't exactly call myself a student of this plea. Don't make me jump. Come over and put a knee up in your tree. Cause I'm N I E T C S C A G. And I like any motherfucker like my name in a spelling bee. Chaos is our opportunity. 
opportunity. You must remember, a bowl is most useful when it is empty. Ugh, Loud C, I don't mean no disrespect, but you need to fill your bowl with some shit that makes some sense. Oh, you don't want to stand in the path of loud Tzu. Today I'll make your move, bitch. Get out the way. Yeah, where in the tradition of rap battles is it written that two dudes on the same team should squabble like some cucking chicken? Man, Confucius, you always trying to put something in its place. Why don't you tell your eyebrows they need to feel better on your face? Okay, I see. You want to make it like that? I'll smack that warmongering head out of your to-go box hat. So here's the real golden rule. I'm way above you weak rookies. Confucius, say you can all hold these fucking cookies. What is winning? The best part of all that was what is winning. Holy shit, dude. That, you know what? And that was epic. I'll give it to him. Anyway, now announcing me and Mizkif epic rap battle of history parody. Lud, I'm a junior at ASU. I'm super curious how you got into streaming or did you what did you did once graduating? I uh, I have a bunch of videos on that, but I I did I did um I didn't stream until after college. And it was it was slime. It was slime. You should yeah, and then Rebecca Black in <laughs> Okay, fuck you guys. Don't don't bring up my old comments. Adam and Eve, I'm begging you. People are dying for Adam and Eve. I'll use my prime if you watch someone donated 400 bits, which is the value of a prime. And then said, I'll give you my prime. If you watch Newton versus bill Nye. All right, boys, we will watch two more. If everybody Twitch primes right now, I will do this for you. Yes, 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 yes. I will be so kind. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button. See if it says subscribe free at the bottom. Do, 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 do. Click the checkbox, hit the subscribe free button in big purple letters. It is super easy to do. Incredibly easy. I mean, look at all this content that I am stealing and providing to you guys. I am like um, a thief. <laughs> What's his name? Robin Hood. That's a guy. I steal content from the rich and then get rich from it. It's like, I guess it's not really Robin Hood at all. I'm just like Miskiff then. Yeah, okay, good one. ERB. Adam versus Eve. Is this who I think it is? Is that Jenna Marbles? Oh my God. Okay, Adam versus Eve. Newton versus Bill Nye. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. Oh, that's literally... Is that, is that Weird Al? Okay, I was going to say it was Weird Al, but then I thought I was dumb because there's no way they got Weird Al. But apparently they got Weird Al. Reaction. Maybe I want to watch a reaction to this. Now, now that we got all that, listen, I'm biased. So what? Nah, let's watch the battle, though. I ain't, I'm going to try not to be biased. Let's go. Of all the scientific minds in history They put Beaker and a bow tie up against me I'm a master I discover gravity I drop rhymes like I've fallen from an apple tree you know Dude, the frame rate is so bad Thank you for the subs, boys Appreciate it Aziasa, very cool Very pog, very champ Jock, thank you very much Appreciate the sub Admiral Wolf Fifex Fifex, VFX Stop stalling. That's literally my job is to stall. Maybe the green. Mac and Biddy's on the bus. What the fuck is that name, dude? <laughs> Why is your name Mac and Biddy's on the bus? And what bus were you on where you were Mac and Biddy's? How many Biddy's were you? Like multiple? You were not just Mac and a Bid. You Mac'd Biddy's? That's crazy, dude. Tier 3 sub from Arac Arachris? Isn't that a place in Dune? Jesus Christ, that's crazy, man. You're crazy for that. Astrofish? Smule? Disafter? I have wanted to watch Edgar Allan Poe the, the whole time. 
please watch Edgar Allan Poe. All right, chat. I have to end at eight sharp. This is two minutes. This is three minutes. Oh, chat. It's in my recommended now. It's in my recommended videos. Oh, that is such a problem. Dude. <laughs> you don't want it in the recommended. All right. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We, we got about time for just these. Just these four, and then I got to go. And then I got a jet. And then I got a blast. Thank you for all the subs, though, boys. I appreciate it. PV. Be boppity. I know you know. By the way, I'm going to tell you guys right now, tomorrow at 11 a.m., we're going to be doing the tournament for Super Auto Pets. 11 a.m. sharp. It'll be a nice and early stream, Super Auto Pets. I'm pretty excited about it. It should be really fucking hype. We have prizes from the developers for the winners. They get their own custom crowns. Um, and it should be hype. Saikuno's playing, yeah. I think Ray's playing, yeah. Charlie is not playing anymore. Hit the go. But Stanz is in, yeah. Anyway, I got to stop stalling because we want to watch all four of these. I'm going to run out of time. Let's do it. Adam versus Eve. Oh. No, I wouldn't have left a comment on this. It's too new. I don't think I've seen it. This battle's gonna end like every argument does. With you kissing my ass, I'm begging me for a rug. I made a map, motherfucker, and I'm reading it too. Gives me specific directions how to fuck with you. I know that you like to think you're so macho, but you smell like ball sacks and nachos. I work while you and your boyfriend Steve trick and play sports in a fantasy league. You're as sharp as a stick that I rub on my lips. So go ahead and take a shot. I'm sure that you'll miss like the laundry, the toilet, the grocery list. If you stop fucking up, I wouldn't have to get pissed. Well, was fine this is just okay. I'm sorry. I thought this was Adam versus Eve, like biblical references. This is just man versus woman. I didn't recognize that until now. Because I don't think they had laundry. <laughs> and I don't, I was like, I literally was like, who's Steve? <laughs> I don't remember that in Genesis. I don't remember God being like, there's Adam and Eve and Steve. <laughs> Laundry, the toilet, the grocery list. If you stop fucking up, I wouldn't have to get pissed. My life was fine till you had to come along and wreck it. Could you please just shut your face for 10 seconds? You cry about everything, but can't decide what you want. I'm hungry, I'm fat. I'm cold, I'm hot. You call it complex, but you would call you a mess. You take two hours to come, three more to get dressed. You got a lotion for this, you got a cream for that. Got any perfume that smells like get the fuck off my back? When things are good, they're great, and it's like I'm dreaming. Until your junk starts bleeding and you turn to a demon. It ain't summer eve, don't try to play me like a dude. You want a bottom of Fruit, well, you can swallow the truth. Don't even bring a swallow. The first man on earth ain't a tough act to follow. One pump chump and you hung like a weasel. Get a fig leaf, get yourself a pine needle. You want a long time? Have it. In fact, so you're a dick. <laughs> so it's a cutie like versus blood. <laughs> Eating is the greatest exit from any argument. Anytime you have an argument, you just be like, hey, are you hungry? And then usually, you know, humans are just like, yeah. Yeah, I'll eat. I could eat. I think Jenna crushed that. She seemed less tied to biblical references. It feels like most of Adam's digs were you ate the apple. You came from my rib, bitch. That's about it. Jenna's a queen. Jenna won that. Easy clap. This is Stephen King versus Edgar Allan Poe. Two auteurs. Stephen King. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll rate that one. I'll throw it on the rating list. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll do it for the fans. Where is it at? Uh, yeah, you know, it was, it was chill. It was just some, ba it was just basic, you know, it was just like some base. It was nothing crazy about it. It's just some average, you know, classic, you know, sexist digs. 
the typical. Once upon a midnight dreary, as I spit this weak and weary, I will choke this joker with a trochee till his cheeks are teary. Ah! But y'all don't hear me, all should fear me. I'll forever be better, you'll never be near me. Your books are as eerie as Beverly Cleary. You're a full brand stoker, so scram the show's over. Your flow so so pose, poems, pone poser. I wrote him locked in a cave. Well, I stopped in a rage. The telltale heart beats soft in his grave. Well, this jerk just beats off on a page. Oh, you wanna talk shop? You got that fun. Go back to Hot Top again, shop for a time. There's a melancholy alcoholic laughing stock in the king's head. I watch the castle rock. Howdy, little poet with an opiate affliction. I'm a workaholic with affection, addiction. Make a dedicated reader shivery and jittery. Feel that rage and misery. You better start running, man. You're indeed poo poo. I'm a mad dog. Thanks, shiny. Cujo. Tell me, knock you down till you can't stand up. You're a soft as Poe, the Kung Fu Panda. Racks on racks, cause I pen fat stacks of frightening writing. Have you seen the pie? I can even take a break. For my routine style Crank out a Shawshank or a green mime Mask of the red dead Billy blood curdling like Hitting the pendulum Not even unnerving Irving on your first cousin when she's 13 years old Now that's disturbing Even you pretend to do it I've been really living through a misery and poverty and family woes I see through you like pantyhose Do a Chappelle and sip sick cameos oh! Even if you're grabbing on a weapon Then you better get a step in If you're messing with the whore lord In a minute maybe I'ma hit him Cut him into itty bitty bits And I'ma stick him in the floorboard Speaking of bored, you are the worst. Dropped out of school, but you can't <laughs> drop a burn. I could have spent that time better. In eight bars, I can write a whole bestseller. I'm so prolific. Sickly goblin won't be bothering me. I'm on a cover and spree. And I'll be smacking you with any of the big thick boss in my big dick bibliography. See, I'm the author with the blood and gore lore galore that'll horrify a reader to the core. Fame, money, talent, success. You'll always have less. Oh, yeah. There it is. You need that in there. You need an Evermore in there. Real, I'm seeing a lot of Poe 1. I could not be further of the opinion that King won that. But I think King also has the bonus that he did not have any sexual relationship with a 13-year-old sibling. Because that's a bad look. <laughs> I'll be it. All right, where are we at? Where was this one? Where was this one? This one was extraordinarily nerdy. It felt more like, hey, let's not do digs. Let's just try to include as many book titles as I can into generic rhymes. Is that the right one? No, this is the right one. It was just, it was just book titles. That was it. As an English major, I don't really bite. I don't I don't bite for that. It was just book titles. I'm going to run a green mile. Come on. Come on. Michael Jordan. Forcer. Muhammad Ali. Why don't you dodge this battle like you did Vietnam? Cause you got as much oh, chance shit. of beating me as LeBron. I'm a fly machine like the world has never seen. You can fight one man, I can drive through a whole team. I choke a dope with his own jump rope. You'll get smoked when I flow. You can tuck it fried dope. Used to float like a butterfly, stand like a bee. Now you double dribble balls that nobody can see. Ooh, here comes Troy. <laughs> Dude, oh no. Big tongue wobbling, flying through the air like a big dumb goblin. You're the only bull that's uglier than Rodman. Messing with me is gambling, you got a problem. Your whole basketball career's hurt whack when you came back a wizard like Gandalf the Black. You should have kept your ugly sneakers packed up on a shelf. Stick to golf, you can keep the ball to yourself. Ooh, I'm so pretty, hey. my hands are so fast, I whoop your face back to your Hitler mustache. Now your daddy oh. got killed and I feel for your oh, family, Jesus. but your baseball career, now that was a tragedy. Man, you make me sick. But I'm better with the flu. You should let the fresh prince do your rapping for you. Switch. I would pass the mic to Pippin, but I'm not done scoring. Stay all up in your grill like my name is George Foreman. I saw you slapping Reggie Miller, boy. What's wrong with you? You fight like the little girls who make your Nike shoes. McDonald's <laughs> and underpants as corporate backers. You stay at the Ritz because you're sold out to crackers. So Cassius wants to talk about <laughs> cash and checks. I'll school you through your bug spray, off your Broadway play. Over the Japanese dude sitting on your face, hitting up at the net. You ain't seen nothing yet. Man, you needed a move. Cause you're so full of shit I'm a better athlete and a better MC Battle me two more times Watch me get a free pee Free pee? Why don't you back up that trash? I leave you like Liston Flat on your ass <laughs> You need to bounce back to North Carolina, kid Cause your rapping sucks more than Space Jam did <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, I was all on uh, Ali's side. I was on Muhammad Ali's side through and through, and then he said Space Jam was bad, and I was like, no, it wasn't. I like the Space, bed, Space Jam movie. Uh, you know? He's a great boxer. What the fuck does he know about Space Jam? That was a great one. You know what? That was solid A. I wouldn't say it's as good as Moses, but it was a solid A. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a great movie, but my nostalgia makes it great. All right, we got one final one. Sir Isaac Newton versus Bill Nye. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye. This one features Weird Al. Of all the scientific minds in history, they put Beaker in a bow tie up against me. I'm a master. I discovered gravity. I dropped rhymes like they're falling from an apple tree. You know, match for me. You got a bachelor's degree. I got a unit of force named after me. You want a battle, guy? That's a crazy notion. When I start flowing, I stay in motion. First of all, did you catch that? Or did yeah. it go too fast to detect? Perhaps it'd be better if I added in a bleep or a blue for another wacky sound effect. I was born on Christmas. I'm God's gift. I unlocked the stars that you're dancing with. You waste time debating creationists while I create the science you explain to kids. That's true. What I used to do is teach kids science on my PBS show. But now I do what I gotta do to make sure science every talk can grow. And I'm still in my prime, hitting my stride. What'd you do with the back of your line? You freaked out, started counting points for the bank, and you sure didn't have no wife. Oh, you wrote a book on gravity, but you couldn't attract nobody. Your work on orbits was exemplary, but your circle of friends was shoddy. Oh, you don't want to mess with the guy Bill Nye. Huh? A rap sharp like a needle in your eye. I'll stick to drink of that mercury, because I hypothesize that you're about to get beat. Well, I conclude that your methods are the whack. You wouldn't even pass in one of my classes. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Except for when we both start rapping. I accelerated the mind of mankind to a higher plane of understanding. And I can't calculate the weight and the size and the shape of the shadow of the mind you're standing in. And I will leave you with a page from a book I wrote at half your age three. But the integral will see why you are from zero to one six of five like a baby. Of the square root of three. From the 64 power of one. Why don't you pick on the brain your own side? Oh, what? I got a bad ass. What? Plus, I got your back. Now, nah, astrophysics black guy. Hating planets every fly. By the way, the answer to your little calculation is I. As an I, put the swag back in science. While Isaac Newton was lying and sticking daggers and lightness and hiding up inside his attic on some Harry Potter business. The universe is infinite, but this battle is finished. Wow. Neil deGrasse Tyson out of nowhere. What was that? I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not brushed up on my Sir Isaac Newton lore. Did he stab a man and then hide in an attic? Not literally just stabbed his back. Didn't credit the guy. Oh, I see. It feels like any time there's an epic rap battle of history and it's like a man from the 21st century and then it's like dude from 13th century. The 13th century will rap and diss the modern day man and be like, you're whack. Your raps are bad. You're a bad MC. And then the 21st century guy will reply like, you literally like raped a 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, wow. I really don't want to side with that guy anymore. <laughs> All right, who wants you at Newton or Nye? Uh, it is exactly time for me to wrap up stream, though, boys. I will end the exact... Where the hell is it? Oh, Mr. Rogers versus Mr. T. I forgot about that one. I'll throw this one S. I liked this one. I liked Neil deGrasse Tyson at the end. This is my list, uh, you know, but I will, I will say, you know, some of these, some of these flopped hard, especially the newer ones, but the older ones, hey, not so bad. Not so bad. Hey, maybe we did have some taste as a kid. And maybe it isn't weird to comment on old YouTube videos who you want to see next. Because they say you decide. 
I could have decided. I just didn't this time. Perhaps they'll pick it up. You know, it's still never too late. You decide. Anyway, did you guys enjoy the video? What do you want to see next? Season one review? You decide. Oh, that was cringe. I'm sorry. That was cringe, guys. <laughs> I got to end, boys. I got to wrap up stream and go record the podcast. Gotta go record the podcast. Good old-fashioned podcasting time. The yard. My YouTube video will be the unusual memes react, and it will be uploaded a little bit later today. So stay tuned for that, fellas. Thanks for hanging out with me, though. I know it's a bit of a shorter stream. This is the shortest stream I've done in a couple of weeks. Only three and a half hours, but hopefully it's worth your time. Amaranth, we will have to discuss our business ventures. Absolutely. Are you not live right now, Ammo? How are you typing in chat? What? How is this happening? How is this possible? How are you both? Are you just... Do you just watch Twitch on your headphones secretly while licking a microphone? Did I just find out that you're secretly watching Twitch while farming thousands of views? Oh my god! You watch movies and shit too, I bet. Nod your head if you watch movies and shit and TV shows, Netflix. Oh my god! That's crazy! That's crazy! <laughs> All right, I'll raid you. I'll raid you, Amaranth. You got me. The hardest working, working woman in, in, in all of Twitch. Hardest working human in all of Twitch. I got to give it to you. <laughs> Holy shit, you're crazy, man. <laughs> Enjoy stream, Ammo. Enjoy stream. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm right now, Ammo. Be nice. Don't leak your strategies to our viewers. Be very sweet, very good Ludbuds, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace!